uh, my sister. She screams like a large man when she's terrified. That must have been her. Hello and welcome to Chaosium Inc's Twitch channel. I'm Brian Holland from The Chaosium and I'll be your keeper of arcane lore for tonight's story of cosmic horror. I'm lucky enough to work for Chaosium where they let me dream the dreams of dead gods and construct the world of its essential runes. And we're here today to celebrate a few things. First of all, all my wonderful players who are here to in enjoy is probably a strong word, but experience the story of Deadlight. <laughs> which is now available on Roll20 as a module, which is what we'll be showcasing in today's stream. But before we get too into it, let's just take it one by one and make sure everybody here gets a chance to say hello before they likely say goodbye. Starting with Josephine <laughs> McAdam. Oh my goodness, that's a little bit scary. Hi, I am Josephine McAdam, an actor and gamer. You can find me at JCVIN on all social media platforms basically and uh yeah excited to uh definitely survive tonight and be better than my sister <laughs> no. uh, speaking of which we also have becca scott that's right uh i'm becca scott you can find me at the becca scott and you can also find the channel where i stream call of cthulhu um also wonderfully sponsored by chaosium at uh good time society but more importantly, I am the sister of Kathleen... Kathleen Kennington! She doesn't even remember my name! It's not worthy of remembering. <laughs> Caroline is <laughs> the old are. and wise sister. Anyway, uh, Brian, thank you for adequately scaring us right off the bat. Solid. Ah, well, speaking of scares, um, one of our... <laughs> Players uh, takes their call. Cool, cool of Cthulhu scares all the way to the Dark Ages. That's uh, Mr. London Carlisle. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, as you mentioned, yes, I'm London Carlisle, actor, gamer, um, and the keeper of arcane lore for Spot Hidden. Um, our last campaign was set in the Dark Ages, and we had a ton of fun with that. Uh, but now I am Lloyd Gillespie, um, a local bootleg. No, he's a businessman. Let's go. <laughs> You can find me at, uh, at, at London Carlisle on Twitter, Instagram, and at Spot Hidden on, you know, pretty much all platforms. We also have um, Jasmine Bular. Oh, hi, hello. I'm Jasmine, that bronze girl, Bular. Um, I'm a full-time content creator. You can find me on Twitter and Twitch at that same handle. Uh, I run a wonderful D&D campaign with Josephine and some other lovely people on Tuesday nights. It's called Shikar. And uh, yeah, you can find it on YouTube, and uh, that's me. And uh, in this game, I'm uh, wet, wet, a very uh, professional of languages, all of them, all sorts. Oi, gonna um, oh, no. <laughs> all types of rock <laughs> today. Excited, get on rock, excited. Well, and, who, and who, who wouldn't be at this point, really? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> to all the English people in chat, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Lastly, but not leastly, we have uh, the man with the flaming mic, Alexander Ward. <laughs> Hi, uh, my name is Alexander Ward. I am an actor and occasional TV, TV, TTRPG player. Wow, my words have already forsaken me. Um, you can find me on all social media platforms under my name, uh, uh, either Alex or Alexander Ward. And uh, today I am playing Bernard Cowell, a private investigator. Right. Well, that's... Uh, this is, this is, this is, this is... sexual harassment. <laughs> This is, this is our cast of characters for, for Deadlight. So for those of you, if anybody is watching who has not perhaps played or experienced Call of Cthulhu before, it is the, um, the premier tabletop game of cosmic horror. It is set predominantly in the 1920s in New England, though we have supplements that expand the setting across uh, to Berlin, down to New Orleans, all across the, uh, and across the general scope of space and time. 
as the old ancient forgotten deities from beyond beyond the stars threaten to return to lay claim to our world but other than that everything's pretty normal so today <laughs> we're playing we're playing deadlight from the book deadlight and other dark turns uh our investigators tonight are traveling together in a car in an automobile in the uh the summer of 1921. Uh, out of curiosity, out of the five of you who are sharing a car together, who is most likely to be driving? It's probably I. I'm, I'm usually found uh, racing down the backwoods of the of the city, uh, carrying carloads of, of, of completely, totally legal things, aka alcohol. May I apologize in advance for my sister Catherine, who will probably insist she should be driving. Don't listen to her. I don't know. I'd like to have someone else take over every now and then. It's nice to be treated like uh, uh, someone who's well-to-do for once. Not that you ever do, Caroline. We are well-to-do. Yes, Shut up. Are you not often treated like a lady? Well, you get what you put out there. Chip Bernard. Got Moxie. I can feel the tension up here in the in the driver's seat. Uh, <laughs> listen, I'll take this one. You know, I'm 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 happy to help out some uh, some great friends of mine. So, you're you're traveling from Arkham, the the city of Arkham, Massachusetts, down to uh, the southern more town of Bolton, and the rain has set in this evening a very wicked and sudden storm has rolled in from the what's the ocean there the pacific no the atlantic ocean the atlantic. very good yeah the atlantic ocean <laughs> and despite racing against the rain on your way the storm has finally caught up with you in earnest and with it the night has fallen abyssal black and riven by lightning. Conditions on the rain-swept road force your speed down to a virtual crawl so that your headlamps can pierce the gloom and keep you on the path. The only thing certain now is, is that the weather behind you is worse than that which surrounds you, driving you onwards. What should have been an eventless journey has become something dangerous and unpredictable. So what's the vibe like in the car? Oh, I am in the front, and I am terrified, gripping the dash. Gillespie, slower, slower. Hey, hey, I got this, okay? Listen, this is this is half my usual speed, all right? Mm -hmm. Half your usual speed. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> she's are you, she's are you... afraid of everything, really. It, because I'll... most things are terrifying. I would love to be sitting behind her and just, like, occasionally kicking the back of the seat. <laughs> what was that? Thunder. Oi, I'm Could... set up. It like in the middle, one arm around Catherine, other around Bernard. You know. <laughs> I'm, I'm extremely uncomfortable. Are you old? <laughs> how old are you? Are you speaking? <laughs> <laughs> I, I am. Does age transcends how hot I am? Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> like that, Vincent Price. <laughs> ah. Okay. Ah. So the rain is lashing down. It's one of those nights that there's very few cars on the road. It's been, Lloyd, it's been a long time since you've seen another car pass you, the headlights piercing through the darkness. It's like the light from your, your own headlights are barely getting, getting through. All you can see is the lashing rain, the darkness, and the oppressive woods looming up beside, behind you, like the, like the teeth of some old man like, biting, up from, biting up from underneath, threatening to swallow you at any point. The darkness is truly... Right? We lost you. Oh no. But without warning, something <laughs> runs into the path of your car. A pale figure rears up as if from nowhere. As you swerve and brake to avoid hitting it, Shit. it takes enough time to realize that the figure is a woman. Her eyes are wide and her mouth open in a scream. Lloyd, could you please make a drive auto roll? Now in Call of Cthulhu, all of our skills are numbers between zero and 100. It's very simple to figure out if we succeed. We roll a D100 and we try to get equal to or under our skill. So very simply, any of your skills on your sheet will be the percentage chance you have of succeeding. Lloyd, what is your drive auto skill? 
It is a Ooh. 60, and I failed uh, with 81 versus 60. 80. I should have gone slower. You should have gone slower. Slower <laughs> than half your normal speed. Damsel, halt uh, the vehicle. What is she uh, doing out in the middle of the road? I don't know. She came out of nowhere. Did we hit her? Uh, it feels but, like you might have hit something. Maybe that was just uh, Lloyd's bad driving. Uh, oh, no. Bernard opens the door and gets out to check on her. Okay, she's dead. Uh, Bernard, isn't it best if we just drive away at this point? Of course not. We don't know she's dead. Uh, Catherine! Bernard, uh, You've done this before? Uh, yes, I don't, I'd like not to be attached to dead bodies if possible. I'm gonna, I continue to get out and go check on the woman. <laughs> but as soon as you open, wrong with you both? Oh, walnuts. Well, I'm staying as in the you, car. Oh, sorry, Wentworth. <laughs> are you cool with everything happening right now? Yeah, yeah, I just uh, look over at Catherine and I'm like, oh, are you good? I'm I am good. All the time. Are you all right? You need a drink? I got a flask. You <laughs> Hey, hey, pass me that real quick. I need it. Wait, you're, you're driving, mate. Oh, okay, you keep it. You keep it. Right. right now, the car is very barely on the side of the road. It's it's sort of, you know, the road, the the, the wheels on the right-hand side are dug into the mud. The woods are rising up to your right, and the, 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 the rain-lashed road is out to your left. And Bernard has stepped out of the car. And Bernard, as soon as you step out of the car, you become almost instantly drenched from head to toe, sopping wet, like every layer, like... Oh, he's going to catch cold. Yes, quite possibly. It is It is like overcoat, waistcoat, shirt, tie, singlet, undercoat, pantaloons, everything soaked completely, <laughs> almost as soon as you stand out here. And on the road, uh, now laying on the road, is that, that figure of the, the pale woman who Lloyd, we hope, swerved to avoid. She is sitting there, obviously sopping wet, the rain continuing to hammer down over and over. Uh, I run over. Uh, miss, are you all right? She doesn't respond. She is still alive. She's moving. Her clothes are disheveled and they're torn. She's, uh, she has a very a few little lacerations on her arms, on her, on her face, but, you know, perhaps from running through the woods this late at night, through the darkness, through the rain. We lost you oh, for a second. We lost him. Lloyd, prepare to drive away if it looks like she's going to alert the authorities. Okay, yes, we can't have the heat on us. Okay, burn it, burn it, burn it. hurry up, hurry up now. Caroline, Caroline, you, you, sh you could do with a sip of this. Uh, Wentworth, do you mind if my sister perhaps invites oh, you it? needs it. Not my type, but I'll I share. drain it. <laughs> oh. Yes, no, it was almost gone when I had it. Here you are. <laughs> Mine oh. is broken. We got more in the back. Don't you're, worry about you're, it. You're the better twin. How are you doing back here? You scan. Look at this wet t-shirt party outside, eh? Hey, we better get going. We don't need no bobbies out here. Um, what about, so you said she was disheveled and we lost you for a second. <laughs> what did you say about her? Disheveled her clothes. Her clothing is, is sort of torn in places as if it's been uh, like ripped up from running through the woods, you know, the little scopes of laceration, and she's, and she's got a very livid bruise on her forehead. And I'm trying to like gauge, is she, is she, is her, are her eyes open, is she uh, like coherent? Uh, she, her eyes are open, she's moving slightly. Uh, she's her, her mouth is moving as if in muttered movement, you know, muttering and looking around. But she doesn't seem to have acknowledged you right away. You could make a first aid or a medicine roll to try and glean any more information if uh, you have either of those skills. Let me take a look here. Uh, I will do a first aid. My medicine is terrible. Um, I'll take a first aid roll. Success. Success. Yeah. Thirty-four um, versus thirty-five. Well, wow, very well, well done. And you can go ahead and you can tick the little box next to first aid on your character sheet. This will mean that uh, we'll be playing an ongoing campaign. Uh, Bernard would get to roll to see if his first aid skill improves. So oh, cool. Call of Cthulhu, you get better by doing things. And uh, what this has done is it you, you're able to ascertain that the, the coloration of the bruise on her face would mean it's around about an hour old. Um, she, she blinks, um, c covered in water, the rain continuing to lash down and sits up. She's, she's very visibly shivering. She's looking around very confused. She looks up and locks eyes with you. 
but it's almost like she she's looking maybe perhaps right through you you're really just standing here with the the headlights of the car painting the scene otherwise the oppressive darkness is just circling around you like a tornado of twisted energy miss are, are you all right did uh, are you hurt by my grandfather and I need to get and, and and she just she's almost hyperventilating and, and barely barely talking for those in the car could I have each of you make a a, a no roll and a no roll uses uh, I believe your education I have an extreme success that reflects my extreme ability to know it all. Oh, the... <laughs> well, Where exactly would one find this on their sheet? Yeah. Education at the top. Yes, it's one of the, uh, you're at, not a skill set. Uh, yeah, it's under the yeah. name and like the basic info. There should be education in there. Like, like, oh, it says there it name. is. Yeah. <laughs> Found it. <laughs> right, Fail. 94 to 80. <laughs> right, listen, is, I uh, goofed uh, off in college, eh? Not, not entirely across it. However, Professor Caroline, your your wellspring of knowledge, this, this frequently tapped and perhaps unending depth of intellect from which you draw the knowledge that about a half a mile up the road, you remember there being a gas station and diner where you might be able to go and get some some respite from the storm. If this Gillespie, works. I have made a mental map of every possible landmark we passed on the way here. Perhaps <laughs> we take this girl to the one we passed, nay, 15 minutes prior. Oh, 15, yeah. We're taking her with us. Get that, that part. We're taking her with us. If, if that's what Bernard, Bernard wishes, right. perhaps we'd entertain all the possibility. Right, right. Okay. M miss. Okay, but she's um, sitting on your lap in the front. We can take you somewhere safe if you come with us. Let's come on, we should get you out of the rain. She, she, she nods and, and she's wet. She puts her, uh, your, her hands up on you to try and <laughs> try and help you, like, get her to stand up. She's, mm -hmm. she's shaking. She, she nearly tumbles up. as she gets to her feet. You notice that she's only wearing one of her shoes. Uh, I take my overcoat off and I, I give it to her. I put it around yes, her. Just right, even though it's blanket you've now put yeah, around her. It's wet, but <laughs> direct in there. Now, now we are at five people in the uh, five people in the car. So whereabouts would you like to try and squeeze this young woman in? Perhaps the front is a bench seat, so I slide reluctantly towards Gillespie, rolling my arms as I do so. There must be it. A... Not getting in the trunk. There, there's stuff in the trunk. We can't, we can't, we, we can't could. Uh, Dear, you're wet. Do you understand? You should probably be not near my outfit. Look. Catherine, would you mind moving up to the front with your sister and we can... Boy. What are you, what are you, what are you trying to hear? Uh, what? You, you want, you want me to... Mm. Be <laughs> no, 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 no. It wouldn't do. Well, then, uh... Bernard, you must... Oh, you're wet. Yes, <laughs> what I'm trying to avoid is both of you getting wet. I was going to sit with her. Why? Have none of you... All right, all right, all right. The wet Fine, ones and... to the front. I'll be in the back. There. Twin twin? Oh, yeah. I'm going to... You'll have all right. to sit with both twins beneath your arms. I retract hey, oh. one arm. <laughs> <laughs> We can put her in the trunk if if, if Wentworth can hold the whiskey. Why? That's, no, that's... we're not putting anyone in the trunk. Have you never met? <laughs> Two hours later. Okay, well, let's just scream, everybody. <laughs> 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 Who is currently it's... sitting in the front seat? It's Lloyd. Yeah. And... Uh, myself and this woman will be getting into the front seat with L Lloyd, and then okay. uh, everybody else will be. Uh, She's on my skirt. Lloyd... Lloyd and uh, Bernard, can you please both make a power roll? P O W, your power. Yes. Extreme. Oh, eight versus Ooh. eighty. Wow. Nice success. Extreme success. So, of course, in Call of Cthulhu, while it is uh, a percentage chance, the, the 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 closer you get to the minimal amount of success, uh, the stronger your success is. So, obviously, rolling an eight when you need an eighty results in a our equivalent of what we would call a critical. Uh, Lloyd still succeeded with sixty-two to eighty. Uh, Lloyd, um, perhaps it is 
your concern for the illegal activity that you're currently under, undertaking, the, the whiskey, the bootlegged whiskey, because we are in Prohibition era, uh, or perhaps it's something else, but you're getting a little antsy and nervous about being stationary out here in the dark. Um, probably not enough to, you know, necessarily kick up a big fuss about, but it's just sort of festering in your chest and crawling up your throat. Bernard, on the other hand, um, during the lightning flash, the lightning out in the woods seemed to, to you, to linger a strange length of time. And you oh. get a very sudden and very unquenchable feeling in your stomach, down to your navel, up to your shoulders, that something out in the woods was staring directly at you as if looking right into your soul. You haven't felt anything like this probably ever, not since you were a child lying in bed, struggling to wake from sleep paralysis nightmares calling out from your parents, trying to muster up any at all courage or ability to move your limbs in your unmoving sleep. Have you felt so intensely and soul-definingly frightened? Right. Um, miss, please get in the car. She... And I just kind of gently push her into the car. She, and she get in and sl slam the door the, after me. The car, the, the door's closed, and now you are sealed. And it's, as soon as the door closes, you feel, everyone in the car feels just a little bit more at ease. There's something about, you know, being in shelter with the rain outside, but the, it's still very dark, and the car is still off the road in the dirt. What are um, we doing? We should get her somewhere. Um, you said you knew a place we could take her. Oh, you heard. I must be very loud through the rain. Yeah, yes, no there's... Really are. There's a gas. No, no. Boy, that's no two one. points. It's Bennett, just the two points. <laughs> I, don't worry. I'm keeping. Anyway, there's a gas station a few miles back. Okay. Um, Lloyd, would you mind taking us back there? Yeah, we got to get out of here quick. I just. Yeah, I would agree with you. Bad feeling. Let's go. Thing. Uh, are you alive up there, woman? What's your name? I'm very cold. I'm, I'm sorry, I, uh... Yes, I, I'd imagine you would oh. be. Uh, here you go, love. And <laughs> my flask. After <laughs> refilling it from one. Oh, I, 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 oh. I couldn't. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't drink anything like that. I'm, I'm on medication and stuff, so... I, could, where, where? could, could you, t could you take me somewhere where I could get a coffee, maybe? Just... We are taking you somewhere where you yeah, can get a coffee. Oh, or see. just something warm. I just, I'm just a little, I'm just a little worried and confused. Th th yes. th thank you for for taking me off the road. No, of course. Um, are you? Where were you coming from? I, 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 I where was I c coming from? Um, okay, it's it's all right. Just just breathe. Just take your time. It's okay. We have we have a bit of a drive. So just when you're ready. I, uh, yeah. Sorry. Maybe I will. She turns to Wentworth and reaches for the previously mentioned she takes the whiskey is it whiskey what is it uh lloyd what is it i refilled it from you <laughs> wait when did you wait, when did you do that no no whatever whatever by the time, it is uh, time lloyd lloyd has had a chance to ask where did you do that um this young woman has upended the flask and taken quite quite the the gulp two, two times now two times this has happened i do yeah. something nice are you seeing this lloyd two times now no self-restraint. It's rather a small flask. Wow. It's not. <laughs> it's big. It's just huge. <laughs> uh, who is your family? Are you of breeding? Caroline. Oh my god. Really? Is she what? Oh, I need yeah. to know. Oh, what do you know their family? Is she a... What? What? Are you a woman of breeding? Sorry, I don't understand the question. I, I live with my grandfather, Dr. Webb. Uh, of ra a Doctor? Well, I think that answers my question. And I look to Catherine and raise my eyebrows. I'm sorry, Catherine. This would be horribly embarrassing for you all the time, eh? It's huh? always. My entire <laughs> life. I've, uh, I've had sorry. to live with uh, this woman by it. my side. My little sister. Must be so tough for what you. What if her grandfather is looking for a young bride? Oh my God! Shut up, Caroline. Okay. Hey, um, Doctor, Webb, do, have I ever heard this Doctor Webb? Uh, no, you oh, haven't heard okay. of this Doctor Webb. Is this, he's probably an idiot. I haven't even heard of him. Oh. 
Don't try Let's to see. set me up with losers, Caroline. You can keep on to it. <laughs> oh, you know what, Caroline? You could do a lot better than some doctor in the middle of boonies. I'm sure I could. Oh, yeah. Uh, I got a little plan for you. You look like you're a spicy little crumpet. <laughs> Lloyd. Could I? I start straight the car. Brian <laughs> <laughs> set this amazing uh, mood of terror, and then <laughs> my <laughs> You know that who needs to die first. It's totally okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know who it is. It's fine. I get it. It's gonna be me. <laughs> I, I'm not the one leaving the car in the middle of the night. I think I'm good, love. <laughs> well, all of you raised in a vacuum. Do you? Do you need help? <laughs> No, but, but some of us have to take care of ourselves, okay? If you keep going out for every dead body you come across, you're not going to get very far in life. How, How many, many bodies have you come, come across? across? Oh, exactly, yes. Lloyd. Not, not many. God, well, I don't you like think this I am? Myth that we speak of. I don't like this bully in a poor Catherine. She seems like a nice enough. Thank nice you. Enough I'm distinguished in my own way. Where I'm sure are you we are. going? Who hasn't come across a stiff or two? Who are we to judge? Well, <laughs> if we get to know this doctor and all that. <laughs> Professor, please. That's me, I'm a professor. <laughs> <laughs> Presumably with your patience wearing thin, uh, as, as we pull out, oh, is my mic okay? Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry. Mm -hmm. that was good. Um, I'll just turn my gain up a bit. Hopefully that's okay. Uh, Lloyd, as you're pulling out from the side of the road, could you please make a drive auto roll as you attempt to once again navigate the darkness? Hey, okay. Success! 44 versus 60. Well done. And we continue along and I'll get our wonderful behind-the-scenes producer to show everybody the, the map of the... Orchard Run, uh, uh, Orchard Run Gas and Cafe. Hopefully Ooh. we'll come across here a little further up the road as this conversation continues. Ooh. I'm going to use uh, Roll20 here to move our players to the gas station. Where I believe they are now looking. They may have been here for some time, actually. <laughs> so, as you approach the, uh, the gas station, the light of it beams out through the darkness and the rain, almost like some tw 20th century oasis. After so long of driving, you know, being cramped in with these people of, you know, mixed tolerance, uh, you need... you need to feel like you have a safety net, something more pleasant than the, the darkness and the rain anything like that and when you see the gas station appear out on the left it's almost this strange sort of relief that runs through you the next thing you notice is this this abandoned vehicle a truck a flatbed truck looks like you would use to transport animals of some kind though there are no animals in the back veered across the road to the road to bolton spread out right across and like skidded to a halt the door of the the truck is open and uh, you can see people inside the you can see people inside the diner like little figures moving against the light uh lloyd as the driver uh what would you like to do uh i'm going to like uh stop obviously before this uh truck but just kind of look inside the, and there's no one in the driver's seat at all uh no one is in the driver's seat of the car Oh dear, do you think another young girl fell in front of this vehicle? <sighs> They're falling out of the sky. It's, uh... Must be. Odd. And I'm gonna pull around it and try to park, all the while keeping my eye on the truck. Mm -hmm. So if we get our roll 20 map up, I believe, uh, Lloyd, you can actually hold down your, uh, your mouse and click like a ping on the map for where you would like to park your car. You can just let us know exactly where you're going to be. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, so I'll take uh, this little parking spot over here. Um, closest to the to the truck in the road. Very well done. So you pull up the light of the Orchard Run Cafe, spreading out over you. Um, the young woman in the front seat 
smiles and nods and rubs her face. And, oh gosh, sorry. I just, I, I, I can really barely rem. I just, can we go in here and I'll just get something to, something to drink, something to eat, maybe. Yes, absolutely. Just, have you been I'm here just, before? I'm just, I'm terribly cold. Have you, have you been here before? You from uh, around oh, about this we, area? Yeah, yeah. My grandfather and I, we, we live, uh, we live not far away. It's just, just real nearby. So. Well, is it well, always this empty? Is this typical? Well, it's, it's, it's not. It's, it's not really a busy community, if that's what you mean. It's just Mary behind the counter, and you know, sometimes some of the older folks who live nearby. But yeah, we we eat here maybe oh. like once a week or something like that. Yeah. Oh, all right. Let's go in and okay. get a boy. Yeah, we'll get and you I inside and see if there's anybody who can help. Maybe get your grandfather to come pick you up. I lean into Catherine and I just say, "This way we can ascertain if she is who she says she is, not some cutthroat." Yeah, or we can just leave her here and they can take oh. care of it. I oh. imagine they must. Oh, do, no, do you think he's a cut? She's a cutthroat, and I grasp. Why do you talk so loud? It's like your voice is piercing like a blue jay from eight miles away. <laughs> Discretion, madam. Discretion. I heard that you called me a bird and I'm complimented. Caroline, first of all, right. it's not a compliment. Second of all, don't worry. I'll take care of you where you will otherwise fail. Let's go. <laughs> Are you yeah. all right? Uh, at the one for Catherine, you got two for Bernard. I'm not on the scoreboard yet, but you know what, Lloyd? I think, you know, we got a chance to get back in the game. Got I have a small, uh, chalk, I have a small Is chalkboard. It's against me this <laughs> game. <laughs> I don't you like it. I'd like an end to the game. You could score two. Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to myself. I'll, I'll be right in. I'm just going to pop off uh, take a look uh, the area for a bit I'll be right in but could you order me a tea or something and I'd love to like just skedaddle over to the car that's like swerved into the middle of the road excellent so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna join you Catherine I'm, I'm coming too all right uh, all right does that mean Went Wentworth Bernard Professor Caroline Kennington and uh, this this mysterious woman are all headed into the diner yeah I'm walking well, her in is I'll there an umbrella tea. in the trunk? The boot? There's a lot of whiskey. Take in my jacket. Here, yeah, take it. Take it. I take off Thank my you. plaid blazer. You thankfully don't have to walk smells too like, far. To, smells uh, like tobacco. To get inside. Um, so once inside, it's just you immediately feel like this nice warm sen sensation, like the heat, the radiator's on. It's, it's really pleasant. There's the smell of, of cherry pie and burnt black coffee. There's an elderly couple who are seated in a in one of the booths who have clearly just enjoyed the an, an evening an evening snack and they're sipping their coffee and looking out at the the rain and saying weird old people things to each other like oh the rains are out now don't they darling you know they're just talking to one another <laughs> yeah belly guy in a plaid jacket with a big you know one of those really kick-ass long beards that doesn't go out just goes down like one of those beards like this you know, easy top beard. Big, long beard. yeah yeah We lost you we for a second We again. lost you. We lost you. So we're back after our minor technical difficulties. Clearly, the influence of the Dark Lord Nala Hotep has extended beyond uh, the house from which he resides. But we are back. We are at the Orchard Run uh, Gas Cafe. If our producer could pop that map up just to give everyone a refresher of where everybody is at, because the dreaded Dun 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 party split has happened. Bernard. Uh, Professor Caroline and Wentworth have taken the young woman that they nearly hit in the middle of the road into the diner to get her something to eat, to warm her up and perhaps learn more of what happened to her and what she was doing outside in the darkness in the middle of this really horrid storm. And Lloyd and Catherine have left the car and have moved to explore the abandoned truck, which is not overturned, but really block the road to between uh, Arkham and Bolton. So we'll start with our party inside, who have just felt everything very warm. They've seen the old couple who's sitting in a diner. They've seen uh, this, this man in a plaid jacket and a big, beautiful beard who's sitting there drinking uh, black coffee and he's eating an untouched 
slice of cherry pie. And there's a very beautiful blonde uh, waitress who's clearly working the, the back end of the, the evening shift before closing, who's just quietly sort of somewhat agitatedly uh, cleaning up, um, hoping that she's not going to get any more orders just as you three walk in. The, uh, the young woman with you is uh, shaking a little bit. She takes the uh, very drenched overcoat off and gives it back to Bernard. Thank I'd like thank to you. make a very big scene as we enter. What? No surprise. And <laughs> place her in the first booth. Barmaid, this woman, I believe she knows you. She needs aid quickly. No. Oh, I see. Um, well, the telephone lines are down, so um, uh, let let me ask my manager. I'll be right back. And she turns and walks to the end of the counter where a uh, somewhat rotund man with a big bushy mustache is reading the newspaper somewhat nonchalantly. Um, could I please ask each of you, being uh, Wentworth, Caroline, and Bernard, to make a psychology role? Absolutely. Ain't my bag, she mate. Cares not for the girl's health. Nope. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I am yeah, too angry. Normal. Yeah. Very Good. Oh, that clearly, feels clearly like this it. woman behind the counter is just uh, perhaps uh, needs an empathy coach of some kind because she just walked down to speak with Sam, her boss. Um, mm. The young woman who you're with uh, just sort of moves. Says, Can we sit in one of these booths over here? Yeah, please, okay. please uh, take a seat. Um, she, she and I, yeah. I'm going to head over to where the where the 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 waitress went to talk to, and I'm just going to kind of insert myself into the conversation. Mm -hmm. um, look, do you recognize this woman? We found her running across the road in the middle of really nowhere. Um, she says she's been here before. Do you recognize her? So the the waitress whose name you note is Mary. It's on her little name tag. Uh, looks up and smiles and says, "Oh yeah, that's uh, that's um, Amelia Amelia Webb. She uh, lives Great. just around the corner." And uh, um, the her manager smiles. Oh, is she out on the uh, on the road this time of night? The, oh, that's that's terrible. Good thing you were there to pick her up. Is she okay? We'll, we'll uh, give her I, grandparents a, a call as soon as we could if we. Uh, but the telephone lines are down. T and he turns, Mary. How about you fix them up? Anything, anything they want. Get there. Get nice and hot for them. Anything they want at all. Okay. Geez. And Mary sort of nods and gets. Well, thank you. Better. That's very kind. Um, yeah, we found her. She was running across the road in the middle of the night, and you you say you know her. Uh, would you be able to keep an eye on her until she's able to, or you're able to call her grandparents? I mean, are you as in the establishment? Oh, um, can he, the, the manager, Sam, just nods, nods to Mary again. So, I'll get a round of coffees, fresh cup of coffee for all of them. Would you do that, please? And he, tea, make mine tea. Tea, tea, and she nods, yes, tea as well. Oi, and then, oi, uh, one tea, one sort of supply. Two forks. Huh? A tea Two forks. and pie? Oh, okay. Cherry? Pumpkin? It might be better. Which, 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 one did your, which one does your sister like? She's a peach pie, if you ask me. <laughs> I get what? that wasn't an option, but we'll go for, uh, we'll just do cherry. One slice. Two forks. And then oh. I elbow okay. Bernard in the, uh, in the ribs. I'm like, watch this. Watch your masterwork. I, I'm sure I will learn something. You you will. I know my I sister, and you, you do not have to try so hard. <laughs> um, I wow. lean over. Oh, look at that, Caroline! Oh. You scored. Look, you're on the board. Oh, oh, oh Lord! Oh, where oh, is he and his board? <laughs> um, I lean back up to the manager and the <laughs> thing. Look, um. I had to, <clears throat> got to be careful not to start talking in a Cockney accent. Sorry. Uh, look, I, I've uh, just between you and I, she's had a few problems. So I mean, I, I don't feel comfortable being responsible for her. If that's mm. right. look, I'm sure it won't be too long. I mean, her grandfather was probably looking for her. So if we just keep her here, uh, I'm happy to give you whatever you like. And like, I don't. Where are you headed tonight? If you're going to Bolton, you got you know. Dave's truck is in the way right now, so... Uh, yeah, what happened with that? Some of our, our group are taking a look at it now. Oh, speaking of which, Lloyd... Lloyd and Catherine 
outside in the rain, making their way from the the car to to the abandoned truck. Yeah. And as we walk, I would love to just, you know, sort of, Lloyd, what is it that you uh, do exactly? And how is it that we are not yet acquainted? Oh, well, 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 you know, I'm just a, a simple businessman. <laughs> I uh, procure and distribute uh, some fine drinks to the to communities in Arkham. Priests, policemen, the like. Pretty much anybody. I know everybody. Except right. for you. Right, right, right. Yes, well, I'm not generally uh, in uh, this country, so to speak. I spend a lot of time running about mainly. Um, but you see, I myself am also a businesswoman, you could say. Hmm. Uh, dealing more in um, artifacts, documents, papers needed, perhaps. Wow. Well, I've never been a keen on the, the books and the like, but um, I would love to hear about your study sometime. Uh, uh, Lloyd, I, I do forgeries, forgeries. Oh! Fake IDs, things like that, things that you, oh. a businessman oh. might need in the future. You know what? I think I see a great partnership here. <laughs> <laughs> and I pull out, I pull yeah. out the little uh, chalkboard. Um, and I just kind of write down, okay, all right. Check with Catherine on forgeries in the small in the corner. Even in our the rule of dibs old. <laughs> the law of dibs is sacred. <laughs> okay. I'm not Lloyd, there, uh, so I'm gonna let it happen. Lloyd and Catherine, could I get you both to please make a spot hidden roll? Okay. I'm good at that one. <laughs> Unfortunately, you're not there, Bernard. Yep, I, I'm a player. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? Look, the what sheet. It doesn't even say failure. Oh, I mean, if it you just compare it to your sheet, did you, you rolled an 80. Do you have an 80 in spot hidden? No. You don't? <laughs> That's unfortunate. Lloyd? It's, you made your roll? Uh, it's not coming up for me. Let me just roll the D100. An 18. Cool. Ooh. Yes, that definitely passes uh lloyd out of the corner of your eye where you're standing with catherine uh there's like a, a brief flash of light in the in the woods now it came out uh, not accompanied by the sound of thunder or lightning just a brief sort of flash if somebody had turned on a flashlight or maybe there was like a passing car and the high beams had just scanned across to the corner of your eye they came out from the the woods just nearby wait wait did you did you see that over there no, I don't see there's, a thing. There was a flash. Uh, what? There's light. We're in a storm, Lloyd. Are all Americans uh, like this? <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, listen. There's, there's, there's something over there. And can I um, try to like listen for any sort of other cues other than the visual? You, you can listen. In fact, there is in Call of Cthulhu, there is a skill called listen that'll get both you and <laughs> Catherine to make now, but um, it's going to be a I... hard listen roll. Yeah, so, I don't ah, think I, I, so... I've, Oof. I've thrown that off. I'm not, I don't even care. I'm on the, oh, you know, I'm you're, just, you're turning it, off the ears. Okay. You're not going to listen it, at all. Oh, that's okay. You're ignoring Not it. at all. I'm not Lord, super skilled. <laughs> not close. You failed. Oh, okay. I'll try. I'll try. Nope. You, try? you got it there. Yeah. 45. That's close. But that's the guy, unless you would like to use um, a bunch of luck points. You can permanently oh, reduce your luck on a one-for-one one basis to get that 58 down to a 45, if you would like. It, there may be more pertinent rolls in the too future. Too much, too much. Yeah, yeah, I feel like, well, to get into a hard roll, she'd have to get it down to 22. 22. Oh, yeah. Oh, true, yeah. That's, well, that's well, I mean, You do you, you know? That's a, <laughs> yeah. that's a lot of luck. <laughs> All right, uh, Lloyd and loot. Catherine, you, you approach the, uh, the truck. The front door is open to the elements. It's drenched on the inside. The, the flatbed is uh, also open there's nothing in in the back at all it just it's it's sort of caged as if it were the type of thing that would transport animals what is it you would like to look at um lord i'm going to be honest with you i'm just here to see if there's anything valuable i can take with me <laughs> great minds think alike and i head to the front of the front of the truck um to try to go on either the driver's side or passenger side either the, the driver's I, side I will... is the one with the door open yes i'll go to that one 
-hmm. Is the is the other one unlocked or no? The other side, it, the door is closed, but it is unlocked, so you can get. Okay, it so I'll go to the opposite side of wherever Lloyd is and kind of like you know race him to find the goods. Yeah. Uh, can you both make a spot hidden roll, please? The person who gets the um, the, the better success will be whoever will be the person who finds it first. Twelve's pretty good. Yeah, is yeah. It's twelve to twenty-five. I don't really know. I don't know why it's not showing. Told twenty-five. So you both got then a, a hard success but a 12 is lower than a 24. Catherine, uh, the, the, I mean, you both noticed that it's a it's a pretty standard affair in here. There's not much. There's, there's a pack of Marlboro cigarettes. Uh, there's a there's an old newspaper and some magazines scattered around here. Donut wrappers, things like that. But uh, behind the, uh, the seat, you can unlatch it and moves the, the front seat forward. Uh, you find a 20 gauge shotgun. And two rounds. <laughs> I just like, you know, pump it <laughs> and like, I don't know what to do with this. And I'll just throw it. <laughs> to throw it. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Careful now. Careful. All right. Gun safety, everyone. Gun safety. <laughs> <laughs> Here, catch. <laughs> All right. Well, you can have that one. I mean, everything thanks. else just looks like trash here. Yeah. Hmm. Did you say there was a donut wrapper, but no donut, right? <laughs> Correct. Yeah. So, are you yeah. hungry? Okay. <laughs> Diner nearby. I I could I could eat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you think well, we've uh, got everything we need here? I think so, but why is it just in the middle of the road? Why, like, why? I don't know. This place has been creepy as fuck. If I'm honest, uh, woman in the road. Uh, my sister's in town, you know, there's just a lot bothering me at once, so, um... Uh, I'm probably just gonna think about it over some tea. <laughs> and out of this rain. Oh, All right. I should turn and go. I'm going to get, get you, as you, uh, leave the abandoned truck and start walking towards the diner, I'd like you both to make another listen roll. Not a hard one this time. Just a regular listen roll. Failure. Hey. And Catherine succeeded. Um, Catherine, as you begin to walk side by side with Lloyd back to the diner, you hear something smacking like it. Um, coming from behind you, faster and faster, getting louder and louder, approaching very fast. Footsteps. I'm going to shove Lloyd behind me. Like, what is that? And sort of try to turn around while putting him behind me. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the diner. Oh. <laughs> Could I um, plop down in the booth opposite this bearded man? So he's on the he's sitting at the counter, so you can sit next to him. I'll sit next, next to him. Counter. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, I hope you could tell me. Perhaps is there a hospital nearby? We have an old one. No, no hospital around here. No, no, nothing. Good. Nothing's gonna get. Not with that deadline out there. No, nothing. No. The dead what? We did not kill her. No, I don't know. Kill. It's gonna kill somebody, though. It's out there on the road. I can't, I'm not going back out there. There's no hospital. I'm not driving you to the hospital. What are you driving anyone to about? Hospital. He stands up and he starts pointing. Everyone. No one's going to the hospital. No, no one. one's. Ho oh, let's boy. let's oh, back up. On. What's your oh. name? Uh, Sam, the 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 the, the, the burly manager from down the end, just says, Ah, Dave, could you please just. Relax just a little bit. Mary, you want to get Dave another slice of pie? And Dave has not actually touched the pie slice of pie that's in front of him, but Mary goes about getting it, and Jake settles down again. And Dave, so. Dave, Dave, listen, I'm a professor. Yes, call me Professor Kennington. I can answer any questions you may have, and everything will be all right. You want to explain how a, 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 a dead light appeared in, in front of me out of nowhere? Scared the bejesus out of me. You know, is that your um, truck? Trolley? Yeah, it's my truck what out there. I know what's in the way. What? I know. Nothing I can do about it. What are you going to do? I can't oh. do nothing about it. Not now. Not ever. Probably not ever. Right. Well, you could pull over into the lot at some point, but I'm no not going rush. back out there. You can go out there if you want. I'm not going back out there. Not with the light out there. No. You're Hearing... afraid of lights. Hearing when we think in the light. woods, they would be a comfort. Mm hmm. Amelia is sitting in the booth. Is anyone with her in the booth right now? 
Uh, I would be standing nearby her. I maybe I'll maybe I'll sit in the booth with her, We're having left to, the conversation. Winworth, where about to you? In all this, I'm uh like kind of pacing around. This boy's getting cold. He's been out there forever. Yeah. You know, I'm kind of like walking back and forth, like. I'll get Wentworth and Bernard to please make a psychology roll <laughs> while this conversation is happening between the professor and Dave. Oh. We're good at this. Hi today. I'm rolling. Good at Hi this. today. Nothing today. How much did we fail by? 77 to 40. <laughs> uh, all you notice is that uh, as Dave is spouting off about whatever, uh, Amelia is um, begins to rub her temples and she's clearly listening to what the man is saying. Hearing him say this about the deadlight, is that I heard that correctly? Yes. May I make an occult roll to see if I ever heard of anything like that? You may make an occult roll. Nope. No. No. <laughs> it's nothing. Nothing at all. Unless, uh, unless Bernard, uh, you've got 64 to 50, so you could spend uh, a paltry 14 luck points. That's a lot of luck points. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm just... No, it no, doesn't ring a bell. May I uh, look into my knowledge of the natural world? Yes, you can make a natural world roll to see what the... The light, he said, that came Love. out of nowhere. What could it him. possibly be? I wow. have no yes. idea. Not even lightning occurs to me as a potential. Despite the very nice, nice roll, it's what still... What is lightning, crazy. anyway? What is lightning? <laughs> you say very nice. Yes. Um, so Dave is still looking at you. So I'm not going back out there. I'm not. You can't convince me otherwise. No one can convince me. I'm going to stay here all night if I have to. Okay. What okay. if we accompany you to your truck? We could, we could, we could help you move it and maybe even look into this creepy light, you know? Make you, just make you feel secure in yourself. I mean, I'd be happy to move your truck if you just want it moved. <laughs> uh, that, I don't think it's safe for anyone to be out there right now. I really well, don't. It, no, it's just rain. you show us what you saw? And if it's still there, then we all come back in. We'll live here forever. And if it's not there, <laughs> then we just go about our merry day. Eh? Oh, no, I could not live with Wentworth forever. Did you see it hurt, harm anyone? <laughs> two. That's two. <laughs> yeah, I used four on the board. It jumped up. It jumped up. I was just driving, and it just, it just appeared like a mist, like a bright mist in front of me, and it moved up. Like a like a bear about to pounce, but I swerved out of the way. I skidded and nearly, nearly damn nearly turned the whole truck. I yeah, just, I see that. I, I know what I know what I saw, but I'm not going back out there. It's something to do with it. I I don't know what's what's going what's going on really, or or anything yes, like, like that. So at this point, Mary, the waitress, brings over uh, cups of coffee and uh, all the different things that uh, Wentworth also ordered, and she smiles. She just says, yeah. Hope that's everything okay. And she steps aside slowly. Oh, well, I think you were closing up when we came in. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry to put you through the trouble. Can I tip her? Uh, you can tip her, yes. Uh, there you go. You're cleaning up. We put you through all this. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Mm. Thanks. Um, mm. I'll have you all uh, also make a... Uh, well, it's not all of you, pardon me, but uh, Wentworth, could you make a spot hidden roll? Mm. I, my what rolls, is wrong I don't think I've, I don't think I've rolled <laughs> underneath 70 today. I think oh. everything I've rolled is over 70. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, all, all you really notice is that uh, as Mary takes your tip, she mm. has a slight look of disdain on her face. And she tucks the money away. It's at this point, uh, everybody in the diner hears a sort of muffled but guttural scream from outside. Um, a few a few seconds earlier, outside, Catherine uh, <laughs> and Lloyd what? <laughs> uh, have turned, turned around at the sound of footsteps approaching. And they see a disheveled, mud-strewn... Um, man with bruises and lacerations on his face and arms his shirt is torn he looks only to be in maybe his early 20s perhaps even his late teens and his eyes are wide and he 
and he goes and who was in front i believe catherine you went like this to put lloyd behind you he, yes. he reached out to grab catherine by the shoulders and lets out just a guttural scream half a foot from your face just this bellowing wide oh, eyed oh. scream and he begins to shake and move back and doesn't know what he's doing <sighs> So, to be clear, I was putting Lloyd in harm's way as a... Oh, pardon me. No, he's grabbed Lloyd. Behind me Lloyd, the Lloyd, is, Lloyd is the one who's grabbed and has screamed. So that in front I of could be in... So I thought you were heroically standing and get behind me. No, no. 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 I did too. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, if there's one thing, thing that happens. Catherine is, not same heroic. Same happens, but Lloyd, you were in the firing line of this man's, this man's bellowing mm -hmm. scream. It's gracious. Hey. Um, so that's when I, like, as he tries to, like, grab me, still holding that shotgun, I'm just going to try to use it to, like, shotgun. well, just oh. to push him back. You oh, know? Okay. I thought like, you could shoot him. Oh, that's... Not, no, not, <laughs> not straight yet. to murder. Hold on. Murdering right away. I would have. Oh, I would have. Oh, yeah. What is right? there for? <laughs> I've certainly pulled out the Derringer behind. Ood for yeah. Some trying to get out screaming of... in your face like that. So you push, you push him back. Get off of me! Knocking him back. Yeah. Could you please make a uh, brawl roll just to see how successful you do this? I, I think you won't have a too hard a time pushing him away. Fantastic. Let's see how you go. Here. Um, perhaps. Uh, I'll just do it manually. 79. That fail failure. It's a high roll. Failure. Oh! Uh, so you don't do any serious damage to him, but you do knock him out of the way. Um, you notice then if you could both make a spot hidden roll very quickly because there's a lot happening right now. Mm. No. <laughs> it, it, that's not a pass for me. Is that a pass for me? I'm going to pull up my sheet. I'm going to restart. Roll 20 real quick. Your sheet, Lloyd, uh, looking at your spot hidden. Uh, yes, it is a pass. You have a spot hidden of 50, and you rolled a 47. Um. Uh, so you notice that his right arm is covered in a, a black, pustulating burn. Cool. It's around about this time where the people inside the diner have registered this guttural scream. Bernard, uh, Professor Caroline Wentworth, what would you like to do? My sister. She screams like a large man when she's terrified. That must have been her. I doubt it was, and I'm pulling my... I'm unholstering my gun from inside my, my coat, and I'm running outside. Mm -hmm. Back out. I don't have a weapon, Bernard. Defend my sister! I'd like to ask... Oh, Mary, I don't have Mary. a weapon either, but I'm going to follow Bernard because I can't stand this shrieking over here. I'd rather get killed by whatever's out there. Come on, Bernard, don't leave me, for the love of I'm God. And must I call the authorities. Uh, may I, I, may I ask Mary... Sorry. Yes. Can I ask Mary if I can use the phone and I want to charm her to do it? Uh, <laughs> you can make a charm roll. Uh, Mary, Mary, Mary my dear, very distressed as she sees people run outside and she's sort of, she's walked up to the glass and is looking through like this to try and get an idea of who is out there. She seems you very You can distressed. save everyone, Mary. It's all on you. What? Did you let me use your telephone? <laughs> The phones are down. Didn't you listen to Sam before? Like, oh, Mary. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to um, run out the door well, as well, uh, but lagging. Professor Caroline, before you run out the door, as you're the last person there, you, you feel fingers tap on your shoulder. And yes? uh, Amelia, Amelia is there, and she's wringing her oh. fingers like this. Oh. She's very nervous. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were a ghost. <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm just really pale. How have you lived this long? <laughs> sorry. Some things are coming back to me, and I'm really worried about my granddad, Dr. Webb. Um, would you be able to come come with me back to our house? I'm really worried. And she's looking sort of very distressed at some of the people in her surrounds. I just, I think, I think I was attacked, and I'm really worried about him. But uh, my my car, um, my car is. I didn't drive my car out. I don't know. I I must have just started running out. Into no, we took you. Yes, we know. You have no shoes. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, I have one shoe. I must have lost one. Could could you come with me? I just don't... I keep getting... I keep forgetting things. I just don't want to be by myself if I forget again. And, and yes, I... Yes, certainly. You outside. must answer one thing for me first. Okay. Is your grandfather single? 
yeah, he is. Great, we will take you to him. <clears throat> All right, thank you. I mean, he was married, but I mean, she died a is while he ago. currently married to he's someone not... who's living? D no, no, he's, he's not. Excellent. No. In some way, I suppose he's married to his work, but you know, what profession? All the better. Anyway, we will help you. Yes, my dear. Very we'll good. find you a second shoe. All right. Excellent. Yes, uh, that'll fix the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Outside, Lloyd, Catherine, recently joined by Wentworth and Bernard in the parking lot of the Orchard Run gas station cafe. This man raving, freaking out, covered in lacerations, dirt, mud, strewn clothing, just torn apart. This really big black postulating burn down his arm. He's freaking out. He can only speak in guttural screams. What would each of you like to do? I just, I, I point the gun, I go, whoa, 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 whoa. Let him go. Back up. And I've got my gun pointed at him. Is he still uh, hoi holding, ho wait, holding Lloyd? <laughs> so he's, he's, he's let go and he's pushed back. Uh, okay. uh, but he's not responding well to the weaponry, mm. we'll say. Uh, mm. He sort of looks, he looks over there and uh, um, uh, Bernard, could you make a, could you make an intimidate roll? I absolutely can. Yeah, if I, I'll put, I suppose, is the question. I'm not intimidating by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> there we go. Would also require another 14 points of luck to fix. <laughs> uh. Given the fact that you, sorry, I should have said this before you rolled. Given the fact that you have a gun and that there is another gun in the, you, you can make this roll with a bonus die. So what a bonus die is, is because uh, we're rolling D100s, you get to roll an extra die of the hundreds column and choose the better result. So on roll 20, I believe you can click that little spot that says bonus slash penalty and add a bonus die, and then it will roll an extra thing to you. So there you go, it's a 24. So that's changed 24 to 20. So you could spend four points of luck. If I you will, want. I will spend four points of okay. luck. So go ahead and uh, in your character sheet, you can permanently, permanently reduce your luck score by four points. Ex okay. Let's oh, see you rolled your luck, that's good to know. Well, now it's it's gonna be 46 from now on, not 50. <laughs> you gotta hit edit, edit mode. mode. Okay, <laughs> ah, there we are. Yeah. Uh, this Not guy right. stumbles back and he sees the gun and he's, not, he's moving and he's holding his hands up. He's, he's shaking his head and he's just freaking out. Ah. Calm, calm, calm down, okay? Yeah. I, I'll put the gun away. Look, man, none of us are here to hurt you. Look, it's a quaint little town where everyone knows each other. There's a diner in there with some delicious smelling pie and, and coffee and things. And just... Could you just just breathe for a moment and why don't you follow us inside, yeah? He, he turns a 180 degrees and full speed bolts back into the woods. Oh, oh, oh my god. We can't bring him with us. Did you see what was on his own? Where's the contagious? <laughs> Lloyd, are you all right? Yes, it's, it's, like I'm, I'm, I'm good, but it, it's, it's, his arm was crazy. It, it, it had all this stuff on it. And I'm looking at my person now to see if any of, like, this almost infection is on my person at all. Nothing is on you. Thanks. You see Thanks. those posts, uh, Lloyd, like some type of boobo. That was, that was a lot. No, I can't. Um, that killed you a lot. It looks like he's gone. Catherine. Maybe. Well, yeah, at least, at least it's not our problem for now. Uh, we just, you know, take them as they come, I think. We're just... Wait, can we just... What if there's more of them? Well... We, we, I, is this normal? Is this something... Is this a normal occurrence? I wouldn't believe it is. Well, oh. I, why would more come out? We just... It's probably just... Some, it's probably just, I don't know... A little upset in the head or something. It's I think fine. it was a little worse than that. He seemed to be injured and also horribly lost. And talking in it's screams. Cool. Well, we tried our best, didn't we? I offered him well, pie and, and I mean, I'm not running after him. If he wants to go back and live in the woods, that's fine, but... I'm sorry to break it to you, Catherine, Lloyd, but you haven't been in. And uh, people here, they aren't right. Talking about deadlights, talking about all kinds of nonsense. Running uh -huh. out in the middle of the street, leaving the cop. That bloke who left his truck right here, he just sat up there, talking crazy, getting lights. all worked up. Dead Boy, lights. Boy, you see a light. Lloyd. I did. 
Yes, I did. I saw. I saw, I saw this. It was like a. It was like a. It was like a. A light. And I uh, saw. I don't know. Descriptive, Lloyd. Speaking of, I, I didn't see a thing. Almost Lloyd. like one of those 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 camera flashes, you know? I don't know. Right before. Just like that. That. <laughs> right before that 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 guy just ran at us. All right. Well, I. It's we're all soaking wet. Let's get inside, and figure out what our next move is. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to. Something's definitely odd. I agree. I'm just saying, Lloyd, keep that shotty handy. Yeah? And I re my pistol. Listen, Bennett, I ended that waitress in this shithole of a restaurant. Three quid. She's seen a face. Nothing. You think a working woman would... Something's not right here. Yeah, it's Something's quite a bit of money. When, oh, uh, I got quite a bit of money. What about it? Have you seen my... No, I wasn't saying... There's it's nothing a solid you know, it might be. It, fours it on might... fours. When Wentworth, they use dollars here. You know, it, it... I gave her dollars. I'm just saying it quid, but like I gave her oh. a working waitress in this shit hole a hefty tip. Yeah. And she did not. She looked like I gave her like ten pence. Nothing. Wait. What's, she actually what? looked annoyed. Ten I don't cents. Think she's a I don't think she's a waitress. Oh, gotcha. It's not exact, it's but it's. Here. I don't think the phones are down. That is off here. It's all off. It's all off. Look, the man inside won't move his truck. He said he won't come back out here again. So either we have to move his truck to get out of here, or we have to find some way around. So well, let's, let's get out of the rain. Let's go inside. Let's get out let's, of the rain. Let's chat with them. Let's see um, uh, why you, they're uh, acting so odd. As Can I meet beginning. them at the door and say, yes. we must get this lady to her grandfather's home. She's invited us, and perhaps they have better tea there. Oh, is that the tea not is good? Not really a concern, but okay. okay. It's, it's a terrible just... tea. The pie is worse. I it's tried there in, in the in the like stack of things that are concerning. Bad tea is at least here. I I just really Catherine, worried about my Are you not my sister? I'm just, I'm just I'm, worried. I'm sorry. Yes, we're concerned about her grandfather. Um, is what I meant right. to well, say. Okay. My friend. Um, your grandfather, wherever he lives, is it back the way we came, or do we have to go down the road past the truck that is stopping us? No, I, I very rarely drive here. There's just a, there's a small, there's like a, there's like a road. Just it's 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 like a little path just through the woods, and it comes up on the the, the eastern side of our property. And you just walk that way, and I think it's. Oh. Like, I can lead you that way. It's too dangerous to drive, I think. I'm just really worried for him. I can um, tell. And I know I'm, if I, he, cause, cause, cause he, he took, he took me in after my parents died. He's a good, he's a good man. And sure. um, he will appreciate it. And I, like he, he'll 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 like i'm sure he will pay you i'm just really worried about him you know cause... okay okay all right we'll, we'll go we'll go check out yeah. your grandfather i would rather I not just, stick around here any longer than we have to talk anyway. to for a minute just for a minute what got, we bought shoes from mary inside she doesn't like me very much but she lent me her shoes give me a so love i have shoes in. now went with best behavior oh, best behavior uh, complete hello mr oh, wentworth hi louisiana Come, come, why don't you sit inside? All right. I got this. I got this slice of pie for the other for the other bird, but it's for you now. Sit, sit down. Uh, okay, just re really quick though, because I think we gotta go. I'm really worried about my granddad. It, it, here's the thing. You you running through the woods, in the middle of the night. These people see you. You're immediately afraid. Is this? Is he hurting you? Did you try to run away? You don't have to hide that. You can tell me. Oh, look. You got scratches between, all over your face, love. You Running through the rain in the middle of the night with no shoes. You can tell it. You can tell us. We won't. We will. We'll take oh, you someplace safe. They, they don't like us very much around here. These people? Have they yeah. tried to hurt you? No, no. They just don't. They don't like that we have money. Like. We've got a lot of money, and they don't really like it. Mary doesn't like me because she has to work a lot, and I, I know she never said anything, but I know, and that's why Sam doesn't like my grandfather, because, because you know, he's got a lot of money and he's got a big house, and they just don't like us very much. I, I, you know. Can I tell if she's telling the truth? 
You can make a psychology roll. Um, <laughs> this could be the roll. Hey! Oh, all right. An extreme success. It's Wentworth's in it. like heightened perceptions are piercing through the <laughs> psychology of the young Amelia. Finally Burton. woke up. Um, she is being. Finally got in, sober. She is being <laughs> entirely truthful. She does sincerely believe that the people around her here do not like her or her grandfather because of their means. She seems very sweet and very modest, and she she almost seems like she's almost ashamed of her wealth uh, because you know it sounds like even the way she talks about Mary implies that she would like to have Mary as a friend. You know, you can also oh probably God. heavily figure out. I mean, with this extreme success, the way she's talked about, you know, her grandfather's taken her in after her parents died. She may have lived somewhere else. You know, she's probably fairly lonely and she's just speaking very quietly about this. She does feel very sincere, but the, the thing you get the strongest is the sense that she is very, very worried about her grandfather. Back to him. He seems like a nice enough chap. And what did you say that it's, it's not safe to drive? I what, just, what, what, are you, what are you omitting here? Well, we, we can drive if you want, but I just don't think because the, the roads get really slick, like our driveway gets really slick um, at, at, at night because it the, the, can flood where our driveway is, but our house is on like a higher higher ground thing. And I just, we walk during the, the rainy months, we just walk up and down to the gas station diner for, for food. Um, we can try driving if you want, but I think that you, we won't be able to get all the way to the house because of the, the flooding with the rain like this. All right. All right. We'll get but you it, back. It's, it's actually a shorter... It'll take longer. To, the, the walk is shorter anyway. We just can't drive a car through there. It's just a little right. walkway. All right. We'll get you home. And don't worry about Mary because uh, girls of that sort, you know, and don't, don't listen to Caroline either because she's kind of the same... You know, haters okay. are just going to be hating. And you got... We'll get you back. And I okay. take her back out to the <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so Amelia and Wentworth join the, the other group of investigators. I have my arm around Amelia now. Yeah. Uh, could I give... I'm going to hand over to Amelia like a little sort of like a, a little puzzle that keeps you busy, you know, sort of like either... Uh, like a... You have toys? <laughs> 1920s fidget spinner. I was just going to say yes. fidget spinner. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a 1920s version, you know, like a either a little puzzle, puzzle thing or... You yeah. know. Like two, of... two nails that you have to put <laughs> Rubik's into cube. each other and Do then get they have Rubik's cubes in the... I don't know. The I the chat can Google that for us. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, you know, one of those. <laughs> yeah. Something. I would hand it... Um, why don't you um, hold on to this for me? Don't worry, we're going to head to your grandfather's right away, all right? All right, well, I can show you. We're going to walk just the walkway around here. Walking? Wait, it I'm is sorry. raining, uh, you how, understand. My skirt far? will be ruined. Your grandfather will undoubtedly replace them. Uh, I, you'll be taken care of. Uh, the way oh. your grandfather sat up, you two should be mighty comfortable. It Indeed. Is a thing. I'm lead the way. Explain to me that uh, cars ain't really safe because the drive up to the house it gets flooded. It's just better to go by foot. So we're going to be foot it's, next. It's only a five minute walk too. Five minutes, not bad. Right. Yeah. All right. Fine. Let's. That's good to me. Let's go then. I still have Wentworth's plaid jacket, okay. and I use it as an umbrella. Wentworth, do you need to share my scarf? No, I I kind of like walking the. Wet turtleneck drives the ladies' oh, yeah, well, it suit. Does suit you, <laughs> Amelia? What, Bernard, begins. you like what you see? I see <laughs> you're rocking it too. Your waistcoat's just absolutely drenched. Love it for you, mate. All right, let's go. I appreciate it. <laughs> I don't have an umbrella or anything, but I kind of use the uh, the shotgun as an umbrella. I just lift it over my head. All right, look. all right, let's go, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Just put my coat back on and walk outside. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's make it small talk as we walk. Am I to understand a madman attacked you, Lord? Yes. Yes, some, some, and then he ran off into the, into the woods. So is the direction that he ran off, is it in the same direction in which we're all about to walk? Is the question uh, I want to ask, ish. Keeper? There are woods everywhere. There are woods all around, so he didn't run. He didn't run like along this pathway. He ran into the tree line. 
but mm. no, you're not like walking in the exact same spot. <laughs> Amelia is leading you um, somewhat disturbingly with her head down because she's playing with this little toy that she was given. <laughs> but it's obviously, it's very clear just by seeing her that she knows this, despite the weather and the conditions, she knows this walkway very, very well. She must mm. walk it quite a lot. And uh, it's just, it, it is narrow. It's really, it's not really a path. It's just, it's just, you know, the human, the human traffic has carved out a little pathway through the woods at this angle. But the, the trees, the pines looming around you, the shaving, it's actually not, the rainfall isn't quite as heavy just because of the sheer number of leaves and branches that are collecting a lot of it. It is quite dark and it's the sheet lightning every uh, 30 to 40 seconds or so, which, you know, give you a nice refresher of the environs as you go. Mm. Mm -hmm. Almost pleasant. Uh, did did we? How how old about does Amelia look? How how what? Sorry. Like how, how old, old is she? Oh, she looks to be in her like early twenties. Yeah, okay, 19, that's 20 years old. She's an adult though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, I do keep my arm around her. Then, if it was yeah. younger, I was going to remove it. But yeah. No, it went with <laughs> stand up, dude. Yeah. Yeah, um, no, I should have asked, you know. Yeah. A question she, for she, Amelia. Question for Amelia, yes. Which of those were you frightened of most inside the the pub there? What? Which of You seem very frightened of someone inside. Oh. Dave, the, the pig farmer, just the things he was saying made me scared and I'm worried about my granddad now. I just, he said what? something about a, a light, I think. I Did think you see the, such a thing? Well, I got hit. She points to the, the big bruise on her head. I got hit. I think the power went out maybe. I, cause the, I remember seeing a light flashing and maybe it was the light in our laundry maybe. I don't know, mm. I get confused sometimes. And she keeps walking and she leans close to Wentworth. He's got his arm around her. And she that, the wenty effect. Yeah, and she continues leading Ugh. through the woods. I want to check in my satchel and see. Uh, I carry a chemistry set, but I don't think I have any light source. Does anyone have any light? Excuse me, let me pull out my beakers. Yes, no, I start fumbling through. There are many small test tubes and beakers in this satchel. It's on my gear list, okay? I'll, th I'll throw her some matches. I'll throw some her way. Potted. We could so start the, the team up again. The incline oh, is, up. is up, so you're walking a little bit more uphill now. You're getting closer and closer. And uh, you come to the edge of the tree line, uh, and we see uh, the the green, uh, the green Acre Cottage where uh, Amelia lives with her grandfather. Can I make a spot hidden check to look for anything out of the ordinary? Uh, you can make a spot hidden check, please. Everyone, everything, this whole town. All right. Success. <laughs> yeah. Or any dangers or anything that looks like it shouldn't just be in a yard. Uh, and you got a 44 to a 55, so you did get a success. So as we all reach the, the tree line, see the house there, the, the, we notice the, um, the lights are all out. And uh, Bernard, you notice that the, the front door is actually flapping in the wind, like open and closed um, and amelia uh leans in closer to to wentworth and whispers something to her she gestures for him to whisper in. and she she looks and she puts a little amorphous rubik's cube to the side and just <laughs> says very quietly to him hey wentworth wentworth what is it you know sometimes living out here just gets in your head. And we're going to take a quick five minute break and then we're going to come back <laughs> with the, the last portion of Dead Light. Shit. Please stick around, uh, chat with us in chat. We'll be gone five minutes just for a quick break to refresh our various teas and whiskeys and whatever else. In the My meantime, whiskey. In, in the meantime, please uh, be sure to <laughs> smash that follow button for uh, us on Twitch as well as over on YouTube. Uh, we stream regularly games of Call of Cthulhu on our in-house stream of chaos. And we'll be back in five minutes. Thanks so much for hanging out with us, everybody. Welcome back to the Chaosium Inc. Twitch channel where we are playing Deadlight, 
a one-shot scenario set in the Cthulhu Mythos. We are playing Call of Cthulhu with a group of intrepid investigators who are currently helping the young wayward Miss Amelia Webb return to her secluded cottage in uh, in Green Apple Acre, where she's intrepid very... is generous. Yes, yeah. <laughs> she's got uh, three now. The, when we last left the investigators, they had just uh, exited the woods on the tree line, and they're looking out uh, over this, this this quite lovely, lovely estate. If it weren't for the darkness and the rain and the fact that the power has apparently gone out, and Amelia decided to get a bit creepy just before we, uh, we wanted to break, <laughs> and she's there playing with her Rubik's cube, and uh, Bernard has just noticed that the front door is flapping in the wind. Do you all, uh, Amelia, did you leave the front door open when you left? She hasn't remembered anything so far. If she remembers this, I'll be floored. No, I floored. Uh, don't. I don't think so. Well, it's open now. Um, hold on. I'll go take a look, and I'm gonna head up Are to you... the front door. All right. So mm -hmm. if we, um, can we actually get the map, the roll twenty map up here? We've got our uh, individual tokens here so uh we've got dynamic oh. lighting with roll 20 so the the map is going to be revealed as the investigators find it so bernard if you see your oh. can you see your token there i'll just move up to the kind of the corner of the door here and yep. take a peek see, inside it's the front door now the other yeah, and the light won't actually extend past the the doors or the windows until they are they oh. are open now that front door That's is cool. open so we'll get that removed for you the front door which is flapping in the wind uh, that will come off, and you'll be able to actually walk into the into the building here. And I'll, I'll get the rest of the investigators to just drag their tokens to the rough area of where they will be. Um, Amelia will be staying with uh, close to Wentworth, unless Wentworth has any problem with that. I guess yeah, we'll yeah. just follow in behind. I'm just peeking um, in yeah. through the windows with her. By my Remind me, what was Amelia's last name? Yeah. Up. What was Amelia's last name? Webb. Webb. Um, and I look, in the, I look in the door, I kind of peek around, and I just say, Dr. Webb, are you home? Uh, there is no answer. It is very quiet. Uh, I just step up behind Bernard and just push him in, like, go on, we're all standing in the rain, come <laughs> yeah. on. As I'm outside, I'm looking up, like, how bi how many stories is this house? Just, 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 just the one floor, there's no upstairs. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Well, I, well, like Wentworth, I'm looking through the windows as well, just trying to see if there's anyone um, creeping around. Yes. Well, it's very I dark. my pistol again. It's very dark inside. I'll ask for Wentworth and Lloyd to both make a uh, hard spot hidden roll to see if you need anything. So in hard, we're looking for actually half of your total. Whoa! Ooh. All right, Wentworth, just with the oh. peepers. I right sobered up. Yeah. All right. First half. <laughs> I was little, little sauce, but sobered up. Always like an eagle. Nope. <laughs> Lloyd Lloyd's hand. still drunk. Ah. Lloyd's, been, Lloyd's been hitting the flask a little bit. Uh, he dashed in out of the rain as soon as I saw him see him not the first one to go inside. Uh, Wentworth, um, there is... Somebody is... You can, you, well, you've got an extreme success, so you can see quite a bit. Um, there's an old man sitting in a chair with his head back like this, and there's a body, somebody's body... I hope maybe they're sleeping. Um, like laying on the ground in front of him, all sort of sprawled with their limbs all over the place like this. I often sleep like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna lay down for a nap right here. Yeah. I'm just yeah. gonna shout out and be like, Oi! All, he's all... dead! He's dead! There's a death! They're both dead in there! I think the old, I think the old man's dead! The, the girl! Grab the gun. Tell grandfather, be polite! She's standing right Next to you. All of you, shut up. Uh, Amelia starts crying. Oh, now you've done it. What? Dr. What Webb, was? are you there? You, can, you, you might no as well have that. murdered her grandfather yourself with that behavior. I'm, I'm oh, I wish the... somebody would murder me so I could quit listening to your yammering. Bernard, Is there... you keep calling. I tell you, mate, I'm looking at him. He ain't moving. Well, Wentworth, you also know something else with your extreme success. <laughs> Yeah, Bernard. Who's lay about now? I'm in the house. <laughs> Maybe with, you uh, looked around first. Yeah. Ward your bushes. Between the um, between the man in the chair and the uh, the sleeping man, uh, on the ground, 
uh, is like an overturned box of some some sort, which appears to have maybe spilled like a whole lot of salt all over the ground or some sort of white powder. Ooh, this is just where Catherine, you can see from looking through the window. Can I open this window? Is it like one of those old timey ones? It's pretty easy. To just you slide can't. No, you can't. Uh, it's it's no. It doesn't open. You could break the glass if you wanted to, but the oh, uh, I believe Lord. the rest of the investigators are. Uh, are actually a door. Inside the, at the door. <laughs> no, on the right it. side, heading into the room where I believe Wentworth is looking. Break it. <laughs> yeah, Lloyd, it's, it's... you got that shotgun. You mind just, like, creating a little bit of a... A, a little bit of... <laughs> Who oh, are, are we... you all? Are we breaking in the window? There's... Yeah, there's the door over here. No. It's just... Amelia already followed inside, I guess. Just uh, sorry, Lloyd. Uh, sorry, I just noticed you you wanted to look through that window there. It just appears to be a bedroom. Nothing nothing too odd about it from there, from that angle. All I'm right. Going to go right. through this door here. Okay, so you're going to go through the door into that reception. Are you yeah, going to take be a look. as cautious about every door, Bernard? Because you know we're all right here behind you. Could you move it a bit? Is oh, like please, by all means, go into the room with the dead body first. I'm just going to shove him in again and walk right behind. Well, is there any help? Who's going to prepare the tea? Oh, that's... <laughs> My God, all I'll of you. check the kitchen. Uh, but why don't you go with your sister to check the kitchen and leave this to me? Obviously, you don't want to be here. What? No, I want to see the bodies. This is fun. 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 I need to... I need her, to... Um... Her grandfather might be dead. Oh shit, you're right behind me. You were not here a moment ago. I'm so sorry. I did not see that you were here. Thought you were outside. Um, uh, terribly sorry. Just want to check on the status of your dear departed, maybe de your grandfather. Hey, hey, wait, wait, uh, let's, let's go in. <laughs> let's do it, Lloyd. Don't worry, Amelia. We're gonna avenge your old bat, your old dad. We got that. We got this. You can rely on me. Look, we We're don't know get... he's dead. We're gonna get that vengeance for you, eh? Oh my god! And I just go don't into the cry. room. <laughs> if he's not dead, I call dibs, Catherine. I don't want to date him. Not everyone. Oh my god, Carol. I'll make tea. Look, good, uh, Catherine. How you're feeling right now? That's how I feel when you talk to me. Well, I barely speak to you. I just need to get you to get your ass moving, that's all. Yes, and the times you do speak to me are incredibly unpleasant. Well, that's, that sounds and like I, a you uh, problem. Is this man alive or not? Lloyd, what exactly have you got on our there? bones already, <laughs> sister? I think Dr. everybody Webb. needs a drink. I Dr. Agree. Webb, I agree. Are, you, are you awake? So, uh, just for clarity, who has moved into the reception room where Wentworth has seen the bodies, and who is I have. out in the, in the in the hallway? I think Catherine, you're behind me, correct? So, just Catherine Wentworth, are you, have you gone inside? Or no. Are you still outside by the window? I'm trying to get in through the window. <laughs> are you trying to slammer in through the window? There we go. <laughs> Why are we like this, it, mate? The way it was flapping in the wind. I'm not going in there. Lloyd, Lloyd is sneaking in as well. Yes, um, I've, I've walked inside. Um, if I can help from the inside break Wentworth in, I'll try to do that eventually. So, um, <laughs> the, the obvious figure of Dr. Webb is the one who is the, the old man in the chair. He's got yeah. a heavily lined face, close cropped white hair, a shock of a white goatee. And he's got a bloody wound in his left arm, like in his shoulder, like a reddish bloody wound. And he is completely uh, unmoving. I'm going to walk over and take his pulse. Uh, should uh, I make a first aid check? Uh, you can you can make a medicine roll, uh, but you can tell very quickly. You don't need to. Uh, sorry, you, you don't need okay. to roll for first aid to know that his pulse is not working. Not working. It's not working. Your <laughs> <Not working. laughs> pulse has stopped not working. working. Are you all right? yeah, sorry. Uh, out of all robots. <laughs> um, I Fleshy just... robots. Yes. Um. Got no pulse. But uh, uh, if you want uh, some more insight into how he may have died, because he just got the shoulder wound, you you can anyone can attempt a medicine roll. There's also the, not... the body of the the, the marionette-like body of the uh, the other young man on the on the ground. Uh, I'm gonna go around and check the pulse of everybody who's in the room. Right. Uh, quick note <laughs> on the quick <laughs> quick note on the, on the ground. Uh, he's he's discarded on the ground. Like like a broken puppet, his limbs are all clearly dislocated. 
at random random spots so his elbows are out his wrists are out shoulders hips knees uh oh. but the <laughs> sorry i went too fast the lower half of his body has been reduced to ashes as I don't if... check his pulse anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's been reduced to ashes as if some intense heat had burned him from the ground up. On what remains of his upper body, his skin is blood blotched and blackened as if his veins has it had exploded from within him and his oh. eyes are red black masses of hemorrhage. Oh. Um, I meant the this, I'm going to have to ask you all to make a sanity mm. roll. So everybody please roll their sanity this in call cthulhu is a measure of how much the how much stress and otherworldly horror the human mind can comprehend and everyone seems to be pretty cool that so far um Honestly, would you like me to up on the couch pretending i'm sherlock holmes trying to piece yeah. this together we are all insane we've seen some stuff in our time <laughs> i think we're still waiting on it's just wentworth uh i can roll for wentworth oh i rolled I thought I did. Oh, did you? Oh, okay, at the top. Yeah. Oh, yeah. pardon me. As it was, it was under Justin. So everybody, everybody I'm rolled in. That's that. right. Is everybody? No. I'm, I'm, I'm in the hallway with the the. Oh the right, you didn't but... see it. Oh, you're cool. Everything's fine. Um, everybody. So <laughs> even though you all succeeded your sanity roll, you'll just lose one point of sanity, mm. which means you take a moment. It is still somewhat disturbing, but you you hang on to yourself, mostly. Uh, also scattered right. along the ground nearby is a a, a crude sack mask like someone's taking a potato sack and put some holes in it um and there's a 20 gauge shotgun next to the body of the guy on the ground whose bottom half of his body is all uh all burned up oh, Everyone's he's, he's, he's wearing an overcoat with some pockets and things and he, he looks okay like his clothing looks okay his clothing doesn't look like it was on fire at all it looks like it was just his flesh and from the inside um just um, briefly while bernard uh wentworth mm -hmm. Lloyd and uh, Catherine are considering um, just checking in with Caroline. Um, oh, I just wanted to pop and see if I could put the tea on or find the health that would put <laughs> yes. it on. Um, maybe Sweet. Amelia, I try and steer her away from the room and bring her with me so yeah. that uh, she doesn't see what sounds like the corpse of her grandfather in that room. So, you, um, so you're oh, no. just walking into the nearest room or you're look, specifically looking for the kitchen? Looking for the kitchen. Nope, not this one. Not this one. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that's the, uh, that's the toilet. Yes. Not this one. Yeah. No. Familiar <laughs> <laughs> yes, no. I give up. How about you have a lie down? Yes. And I'm going to put yeah. her in this bedroom before I join the everyone else in the living room. Okay, so and you, maybe oh, if you huge. feel, oh, if you feel like that. putting on a kettle, feel free. Okay. So Amelia, you put her into, into bed in here um you actually professor while you are just making sure she gets into her bed just in here mm. uh you notice on her bedside table um some correspondence uh from a place called the boston society for the care of girls may i i don't wait for an answer before yeah. i look <laughs> um there's just a correspondence there just uh um says that uh miss amelia webb has been released with a clean bill of health um you can make either a no medicine a no medicine or psychoanalysis role uh which might shed a bit more light on what the boston society for the care of girls is medicine uh well definitely a no role we'll go on with that mm -hmm. oh well done um the boston society for the care of girls is a very expensive private sanitarium Mm, the finest. Yes, all is in order here, I see, Amelia. How's the cuisine? What? The cuisine at the school for the insane that you attended. I, I to recommend to my friends and their daughters, you understand? Mm -hmm. uh, Catherine, as you're asking this question, uh, sorry, Caroline, as you're asking this question, um, from the window outside is a very bright, sudden flash of light which goes away immediately. It is not followed or preceded by the sound of thunder. I want to look for a car outside the window. Okay, so you walk up to the window and you look outside. Uh, could you make a spot hidden roll? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you see Wentworth. <laughs> <laughs> no one's undressing here, Wentworth. <laughs> oh, you know I um, have a flash of light. Point, point you, for Bernard. Bernard. You know how it is. 
there is there is no car outside but with your successful spot hidden roll you spot you spot uh, uh the figure of somebody walking outside do they seem human in their movements uh, uh yeah <laughs> In their movements, <laughs> yes, they they Probably. they have the shape of a human. They are sort of scrambling, <laughs> wandering around, almost like aimlessly stepping around. I want to run to the front door and lock it. Uh, yes, you you can do that. Well, well, you can do is you can run to the front door. So we're taking your token on here on roll twenty, running you down to the front door. It's at this point when you go to notice that you go to lock it that you notice the lock is actually broken. Good. Gillespie. Could you bring your shotgun for a moment? Oh yeah, yeah, right, right there. And I hear the footsteps running. Uh, and about that time, I'm heading as well. We may have an unwelcome door. guest. Uh, meanwhile, in the reception room, uh, the Bernard and Wentworth were inspecting these corpses. I shout with like, you don't, you don't even realize a human being can be that loud. I'm just like, yeah. Amelia, you got a library up in this joint. Are your grandfather's study. I just want to take a poxy and a pooksy. Amelia! A pooksy. Can anyone remember why we were traveling together in the first place? <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. Because I don't. The will and of I'm the of my aunt. Yes, our aunt has passed, remember? Oi. Yeah. Right. We're all going to get m- buku bucks. He loves me. Yes, because I knew your aunt. Yes, now I remember. Thank you with our aunt. aunt. Not just leave you all here. Bernard, you were shagging the auntie. You were shagging the aunt. Me? And and I was the caterer. She was a patron of the aunt. No, family friend. Giving us all a ride there. The player. Yes, yes. I'm a polyglot, and she supports our types, you know? So Amelia does does appear at the... (laughs) While they are, they are. Oh, sorry, Catherine. While they're checking bodies and doing all that, I mean, they can clearly people seem dead or going to be dead soon, if not now. And I'd really, while they appraise, but I would like to appraise like the home, the 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 worth of things that I could take from Uh, this home. do, Do you have the appraise skill? Yeah. You do. Oh, well, do. Please Let's be serious for a minute. What can I steal? Yeah. <laughs> yeah excuse it's like me. Call of Cthulhu, but make it awful people. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you don't feel bad when bad things happen to you. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> All right, um, Catherine. We have we have to say. Uh, what, what's your street name, by the way? Do you have a street name? Uh, yeah, the Viper. The Viper. <laughs> the Viper. Um, You've done a very good job of containing your excitement, I would say, because you've walked in here and this place is quite lavish. And so many of these things, so many of these products, these items, for you and your contacts are especially fensible. You'll be able to make plenty of money off this, but what is really drawing your attention is what must be the ridiculous amount of value associated with this upturned coffer which is on the floor of the reception room. What you can see is that the metal that it's made of, it's about 16 by nine inches. It's uh, shaped like a trough, it's featureless, and it's mounted on small clawed feet, and it's made of some sort of gorgeous metal. And you know the exact type of group you get a huge amount of money for that. Those high society sort of snobbish criminals who will mm. happily buy anything, no questions asked. And this is uh, like, it, you don't know how it must, maybe it got knocked over and whatever altercation happened here, but it's just knocked on the ground and has spilled this sort of white um, salt or powder or whatever on the, on the floor n- near to the you know, not cup, right yeah. in front of but near the body of this guy whose bottom half has been burnt to a crisp right, your right, grandfather right. knows mm-hmm. how to party <laughs> then I, I, I would love to do I, s- do I see her like checking that out because thing is I've studied some artifacts in my time mostly like you know Egyptian a little bit of history could I discern where it's from try to impress her and be like actually that's 18th century you know that type of bit. <laughs> so you would uh, you would like to try and appraise it, get an idea of what it is. Is it is it like because it looks ancient, right? Is it Egyptian in nature, Greek, anything that might hmm. fall in line with something? A there is something I've fornicated with before. <laughs> <laughs> it seems it something about it seems to you very funereal. 
although it's probably too big to be an urn um well so it's unlikely that this powder that's spilled out of it uh is ash it's you're having a very hard time trying to it, it smells kind of odd and you notice that uh, there's a there's a wax seal around the edges of of the hinged lid what does it apply to you is that it could be a very uh like the sealing something with wax to keep it closed is a very sort of ancient technique although there are no markings or any distinct features that allow you to link it to a particular time period or culture what uh, you do know is that it is old and that it is seems like a genuine antique uh, can i ask anyone who's in the reception room right now um with a power of 70 or higher please raise their hand is it just wentworth no it's just been Sorry, me. Friday, it's just bernard yeah no one else has a power of 70 or higher um, i do but i'm not in the room and that's good um bernard <laughs> do you remember that that horrific tension you felt absolutely i remember it earlier yes um you're feeling it again now when uh the tension is being drawn to this this oblong box on the ground but it's so in, in like just an intense feeling of wrongness and stress which you can feel turning into physical revulsion and your stomach turns you almost feel like you're about to throw up could you please make a sanity roll oh, absolutely all right, I succeed. Well, you got a high sanity, wow. Uh, but yeah. uh, so you succeed the roll, you're just going to lose one more point, plummeting to oh. 78. <laughs> um, Brian, it's your game, and I hate to tell you, but your sanity and your power are the same. Oh, yes, I know. It's all power. <laughs> I'm just keeping it exciting, Becca. Come on. Um, <laughs> no. I, um, I would you're right. really suggest no one. Touch that urn. I don't know. I'm what it taking is, but it's... it immediately. <laughs> Please do not touch the urn. One, no, this I, is a it's crime already scene. in my hands. Oi, that's cursed love. That's from the fallen kingdom of Acadia. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make it. Can I make have it? A, have you ever heard of Acadia? Well, it doesn't exist anymore. It's because everybody touched that box right there. <laughs> Catherine, for what yeah. it's worth, you feel fine. Yeah, I'm gonna just slip it into my. Look, slip it into where? It's huge. It's my... uh, 16 by 9 inches, so it's, you probably you, you can put it under your coat. My satchel. Yeah. Look, would you please put that down? This is a crime scene. Oh, it's been sealed with wax, love. That means uh, bad juju inside, you know? Not good. Yeah, but but I'm don't I'm not going to hold on to it, you know? I'm going to make a... a you're going to what? Steal it? Is that what you're trying to say? Steal That's it? That's the type of thing. When you no. possess it, your babies come out with ooves. You know? It's just bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, I rolled an eight on an occult roll to recognize what that thing does or is. Uh, whoa, that's that's good. Uh... <laughs> he didn't want you to roll that well. The wax, the wax around it very much implies that uh, some sort of, from what you studied, wax like that would be employed to seal something inside it, to stop something from escaping it. Look, not I sure don't know exactly what it is, but look, I don't know if you understand what? exactly what's going on here. A wax seal like that, if you're not aware, keeps mm. something sealed inside of that thing. Right. So something broke out and now I've got a very expensive coffer for my taking. Thank you. I'm glad <laughs> it's no longer dangerous. By all means, fucking take it. And I'm just going to, I walk out the room, going Burn to it, check great. the rest of the house. Yeah, so Thank we're, goodness. We're, uh, there is an intruder. Yeah. <laughs> to where Lloyd and uh, the professor have been patiently waiting <laughs> by the door with the shotgun. Yes, stay quiet. The door doesn't lock. All right, get, 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 get into the other room. Get, it, get into the other room. You're quiet, everybody. I've been in the other room. I will stay in this room. All right, fine. If you want to stay by the door, that's fine. I'm just trying to get you away from the man, but suit yourself. Okay, okay, okay. But if I do, is there anything horrific that will frighten me and perhaps mess with my head? There's three dead bodies in the room over there and your sister is stealing everything she can get her hands on. I'm not going in there. Maybe talk Proud to your sister. Amelia has come here. Did somebody ask about a library? I was trying to sleep. Oh, yeah. Oh, I did. Are I you did. still outside, Wentworth? 
<laughs> no, I've, I've been inside. Louis, okay, I thought you were yelling through the window. I've been or break. Because if we're guarding... He came in through the door, yeah. unlatched it, and kind of let me in there. And uh, I haven't shot it behind me. And I know y'all talking about an invader, but I'm not going to tell you that I left the window open because... I don't feel like Wentworth would do that. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, look, yeah, d you, you, your grandfather, did he have a study or... Uh, it yeah, seems like some type of altercation happened back there because by one of the stiffs there was a gun. Yeah, yeah, he keeps... He's, he's got a bureau with a bunch of books in it, but he keeps it locked. All right, I'm going to go take a look-see. And you, uh, stay safe, eh? And I'm gonna I believe my sister's well. good with clocks. The clock I'm is broken. Things, not steal them. And I, you mm. notice now I've like checked my wallet. So you're leaving the room as well. <clears throat> so Amelia is the only person staying in this room. Uh, Amelia will probably go back to uh, go back I mean, to the bedroom I... where she's going to try and get some peace and quiet. Right. Uh, probably cry. Uh, so when <laughs> yeah, you're heading to I would imagine. Room, I'll stand I'll behind room. Bernard and I will <laughs> use his body as a shield just in case. You said there was a what did he look like? Oh, um, moving erratically, just a shape coming towards the house, very imposing, possibly deadly. And as everybody's moving back through the house, the, the gun is just pointed at the door and I'm just walking backwards, like very slowly as I'm <laughs> listening to the professor. Hey, Lloyd. Yeah. Um, that bedroom around the corner right to your your right mm -hmm. um why don't you go and make sure she stays all right all right I'm funny. no i've got this mm. i've got a gun um just just guard her i don't want anything to happen to her she's had a rough day already that sounds good all right you'll be safe also As I walk around the, comes through the window okay good good thing they're all closed yeah. Bernard, uh, realizing yes. you may die here, may I quickly ask? Why would you Why would you say that to me? Well, I know that you are shagging my aunt, but I know little else about you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dating <laughs> past case, that. You don't. I'm a private investigator. Oh, excellent! You. <laughs> <laughs> And I wasn't I shagging her aunt. Investigation yeah. private's all right. Well, <laughs> she definitely has written you into her will, and you tell me what that's about. I helped your aunt be you hired. Me. I'm gonna go check on the possibly dangerous situation that's outside. Please go continue to make up nonsense in the other room. Before that happens, I come in the room with the chalkboard. I have the chalkboard, and I'm just like. <laughs> Point for burner. Yeah. <laughs> and I drew. my aunt. All right. <laughs> anyway, but. <laughs> That's what the board's been tracking this whole time, actually. Um... <laughs> Point for the keeper. <laughs> hey. All right. So Bernard is what walking to the to the I'm, front I'm door. I'm at the door. I have my gun place. drawn. All right. So just move and I'm... move your token towards the the front door. Yes. I, I move over here and I'm listening at the door to see You're if I can hear anything outside on whatever's going on out there. Um, uh, Wentworth, I believe you've gone to Doctor Webb's study to look at the bureau. Catherine, were you going with uh, were you going with Wentworth or was that just a rumor? Something about lock picking. Oh no no no! I'm I'm going to um, check the next room over probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, so you whatever just, uh, it may be, so, and resume my rounds. Your appraisal. Uh, yeah. So you go into the kitchen, uh, oh. which is yeah, um, lots of very fine china and yeah. lovely silverware. Uh, nothing quite tops what you the the box that you found mm. so far. Well, uh, I'll make a cup of tea while I'm here. Then. Of course, yeah. I mean, you're only human. Uh, a, yeah. A British human, but a human nonetheless. Right. Um, and uh, so Wentworth in Doctor Webb's uh, study. Um, she's obviously full of personal records and letters, uh, largely out of date books on medicine. Uh, there's a small library on the natural history of New England. Um, and there's a sturdy locked bureau, which is this big, uh, I was going to tag it on roll 20 here, this big um, desk here 
where most of the, the books could could be. Um, so if you want to open it without a key, it will require either a mechanical repair or a locksmith roll to get in there. Well, Assuming you don't always I, want to break it. I've noticed that a lot of times these types of chaps, they tend to hide the key right somewhere in the office so they never lose it. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to take... I'm going to take a look around see if it's like hidden underneath the plants or... Yes, certainly. I'll get you to like make a, uh, a spot lamp. hidden roll while you're actively searching. <laughs> underneath the plants? Yes, so there is a... <laughs> uh, there's actually a plant by the window over here. Bingo! Yes. I reach under... I lift up the, the pot. You find the key to the bureau. Would okay. you like to use the key to the bureau? I would. You would. <laughs> So uh, inside, so. and uh, because no one else is in the room, you can choose to share as much or as little of this information with the rest of the investigators. Mm. And I'm just prefacing that for reasons that will become uh, soon <laughs> obvious. Uh, $600 in cash. Oi, I'm just going to pocket that. Uh, an account and checkbook for the Arkham First National Bank containing a balance of $19,000. Good night. I'm going to leave that for Amelia. She's been through a lot. A, a pot of funny smelling wax ointment and a small black leather bound journal hidden under piles of legal papers and professional certificates I'm gonna grab the journal probably gonna take a look see if that Josephine I'm you're muted some of that. oh am I? no Josephine. no no I'm not, oh, I'm, not. I'm just yeah. quiet okay <laughs> oh you just yeah we just didn't hear what you said I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, grab that journal I'm going to take a look at it in a second. I'm going to take some you. of that tiger bomb. Just rub it on my <laughs> elbows. It's been a cold night. Taking some of the wax ointment, putting it on your skin? It's a tiger bomb, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ah, <laughs> so tiger gonna, bomb. It's going to make a me, note. Soothe uh, me, about. bones. <laughs> hey, it, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure we'll get bones and pustules there. Yep. It's an actual doctor, all right? Yep. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to grab that black journal and... Uh, I'll make sure that this empty checkbook gets to Amelia. Take care of her. Now that her, you know, grandfather's popped off. Oh, we need it. And what happened to the $600 in cash? We glazed over that. I, I'm just going to put that in, in my waistcoat. Okay, yeah, just to redistribute amongst the party members later. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> we were definitely were not going to write it off as emotional damages. <laughs> I would ride with this lot for an hour. <laughs> Uh, Lloyd, you're in oh, the... Uh... Oh, we're the... <laughs> <laughs> you love me, Bernard. Don't pretend like you don't. You would wither up without me like a sun without flowers. <laughs> I said what I said. What I, said. <laughs> I said what I said. <laughs> Lloyd, you're, uh, you're in the bedroom with Amelia. Uh, mm -hmm. Right now. <laughs> uh, she's she's sat down on the bed and she's got under the blankets and she is laying on her back, uh, staring wide-eyed at the ceiling. Mm. Remember, you hear my voice in your head saying nothing funny. I think I'm going mad. Um, <laughs> listen, I know that uh, this might be hard for you, but listen, we're only here to help. Now, I think we might have some sort of shared experience. I saw this light, too. When did this begin? Is there anything in this, in your home, that can bring this to an end? I don't really know uh, why you're talking about. Um, I, I saw that was the guy in there with the shotgun. That. That was, that was Clem Taylor. I know him. I'm trying to remember how, how we came in here. I don't know. Was he the one who hit me? I think there was, there were two guys. It was Clem. That's, that's Mary's boyfriend. I don't know. He was all burned up. I don't know what's going on. And, and I, I, I burned up. No, I. Uh, and, and I'm gonna look around the room. Um, is it just? Is there any sort of like closet or any other space in here? Uh, yeah. Let's have a quick look at the map, real quick. Cause you're in here. Um, there's, uh, there's not the closet, there's just the, this sort of walk-in study in here. Uh, and then there's the, the only thing here is the, uh, there's, there'll be a small chest of drawers just here. 
but no like walk-in closet or anything big enough to fit a person in if that's where you're going with that right yeah i was trying to see yeah how alone this how how alone we are yeah um So no, I'm sorry about all this, but we're, we're just we're just here to help. We want to get to the bottom of this. And are you being followed right now? I uh, I don't think so. Why would you ask that? There's another flash of light through that window outside, which Bernard and the professor see from their their spot a very bright white flash of light, pointedly not like lightning. It didn't originate from the sky. It wasn't a strike. Just a white flash of light which silhouetted this figure, this raving man who seems to be running towards the house. And then he suddenly stops moving completely. The light has vanished and he is standing completely still. About 10 metres. Um, someone can convert that to Imperial. <laughs> yeah. But that's... that's I want to say 25 feet-ish from the front door. Um, Open the door. Just shoot three it. Things. Three things. <gasps> One, do you think it's possible that those flashes of light are what the man in the diner was referring to as the dead lights, just to confirm my hypothesis? Could be. Great. Two, is that the thing you saw? Oh, yes, that's definitely what I saw from the bedroom. Uh, yes, a figure of a strange man. I've seen them many times at night. You'll understand, and so I know well when I see you've one seen again. These, wait, you've seen these many times. Don't worry about my past. Yes, this is what I saw. All right, three. Were you and your sister dropped on your head at any point in your childhood? Because both of you many deal with times. very strange. Our parents were extremely neglectful. I can tell. And I, I just, I point, I have my gun pointed down. Think you look ready. Finger. I open the door. <laughs> I, what? And I just, momentary panic as she throws the door open. I look at <laughs> the thing. And then I lean against the wall. Sorry. I say, this guy, sir, can I help you? This guy's walk close. His eyes are closed. His mouth is shut. He's like walking like this and he's taking very, just one foot at a time steps closer toward the door and he's sort of shaking like this. Are his eyes closed? Yes, and so, so this is private property. This... I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Wait, does he have a weapon that we can see? No, his hands are just open. Oh, never mind. Can I hear this from the room? Yeah, you can hear this. Well, you definitely be able to hear Bernard and, and the professor. Right, yeah. So I'm going, going to ask you again. This door. is private property. You need to leave. Who is your family? Catherine, the kettle starts to boil. Oh, good, 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 yeah. I'll, uh, but I will pop my head out to see mm. what's, you know, just to yeah. uh, keep an eye. Uh, Wentworth? Uh, I'm going to make my way back. There seems to be some type of commotion. These people yeah. are always getting into some nonsense. On my way out there, I'm going to stop in, peek in on Lloyd and Amelia, and be like, Amelia, I think this belongs to you. I'm going to give her the checkbook. And be like, you, know, you should probably take care of your, your grandfather's findings. And I'm going to give her 200 of the 600 in cash. Rest oh. is fine. You know, find this fee. Here you go. Oh. Take that. <laughs> Finders someone say? 200% <laughs> finders fee. People are, te people are terrible out here. You better, you better keep an eye on that. Now that your grandfather's out of the picture, you gotta start taking care of yourself. All right? People are gonna want to take advantage of you. They're gonna want his money. Okay. Uh, thank you. Um, all Don't right. worry. I got your back. Lloyd, Thanks. I think some shit's about to go down out there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I agree from like the hallway door. I'll just sip some tea and while... <laughs> there's some tea, like like some refreshments while we. Uh... Oh, tea! I can't By all means, tea. have your refreshments while I deal with this situation. Be right there. I'm not You're speaking not, to you're not you. Alone, Definitely abandon the situation to get tea. Oh, I'll stick with the gents. You know, it's, uh, I say, oh, now it's just us boys, eh? Yeah, I here, thought, Caroline. Just... a gun, but it's just the boys. What was? Boys brigade. I just point at the man outside who's getting closer. Honestly, Bernard, I, I, I'm very uncomfortable. You, as am I. I don't, handle, I don't handle these situations well, so I'm just going to let you take your lead. The man You're begins the leader, to scream. The boys today. You and Lloyd, this is your bag. He begins to scream. To your judgment. As, as his mouth and eyes open, bright like white floodlights spill out from his mouth I fire. eyes. 
You're gonna shoot? What? Yeah. The... All right, please make a uh, firearms roll. I'm gonna pull Caroline into the kitchen with me and just like pull back in. Oh, I'm gonna put on my, on my sunglasses. They uh, 31 versus 50 success. 31 versus 50 success. So the, the and what what kind? You're just using a handgun? Yes, I am using a um, a, uh, a model P08 Luger. Oh, okay. So the Luger, Ooh. so the, the bullet fires off a Luger, striking this guy in the stomach, piercing right through him. And as the bullet passes through him, light begins to shed out from the inside as if you've exposed the light source that is inside him. This guy continues to scream. You see his eyes begin to bleed black pus. His, it's, his fingernails go red hot. His, uh, the light is pushing <laughs> out from underneath his skin as if it's burning him from inside. And then all at once, he turns to ash and screaming peeling apart, his muscles sloughing off his bones as he calls collapses to the ground, and like this clinging thick white bright mist, the dead light peels itself off from his freshly destroyed corpse, and then flutters away towards the woods. So that was the some downright biblical shit! What the fuck? What the fuck have I just seen? Um, can I make everybody who just watched that please make a sanity oh. roll? Oi! Oh. Exactly! Oh. What the fuck have I just Oh, crit this fail! Is some, this is just some crazy fucking shit! Uh, uh. What right, the those, fuck, Bernard? What the, the fuck he, is this? Those who he passed, fixes everything. Those who pass their sanity roll can just reduce their sanity by one point. Mm. Um, uh, so who failed? So uh, I, did. I did. <laughs> Uh, you're going to lose an additional one point, so two points. And uh, Lloyd, yep. uh, you're also going to lose an additional one point. So you did okay. It wasn't too bad on that. But yes, you are very stressed. Wentworth was reacting Wait a minute. Uh, aptly. Wentworth crit failed. Yeah, I got 100. Oh, you did? Oh, shit. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Let me make an adjustment to that. Cancel the F-bombs, I'm sorry. That's another, so another crazy. force. That's five total. So I'm Wentworth, total. you're going to undergo some temporary bout of broken brain insanity. Seems about right. You there looked at something like that and is right afterwards. What the? What is wrong with you people? Uh, Wentworth, you're going to undergo a bout of extreme paranoia for the next little while. All right. So it's changed. Oh no, you just stay back there in the hole. <laughs> Where's your phone, Gillespie? What, what hmm. is What is this? What exactly is happening here? Shay's stealing everything that it na that is na nailed down. I'm you. drinking tea. I'm over here drinking tea. Thank you. You touch that cursed casket, now we're all gonna die. You tell okay. tell it, Bernard, Press. you saw it. Now there's lights. You unleash that friggin' beast thing, and now it's like just floating around out there. It's probably gonna come out of your mouth, your bum. I don't. <laughs> I'm, I just walk outside and I go check the remains. Don't touch it! Why would you touch it? Don't touch it! Shh. <gasps> what? Lloyd, something's wrong with that boy. The remains. I'm not gonna touch. I'm gonna go over and look at it. Um, it looks, it looks very much like the, uh, the young man in the, in the reception room who Amelia said his name was Clem. It right. looks like what happened to the bottom half of his body, but instead it's the entirety of this guy's body. Okay. I walk back inside. Um, is there a way, looking at this door, is there a way for me to bar it shut? Uh, yes, because in fact, oh, I should have mentioned this a moment. So as you walk, walking back inside, uh, could you please make a luck roll? Yes. <laughs> Funny if you failed. By I four. failed. No, you failed. That's okay. Um, you might have noticed something that could have helped you, but that's okay. That's all right. Mm. Sometimes we're just unlucky. That's how it happens. Uh, yes, you could, uh... You I've could... been unlucky this whole game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mechanically so. Um... <laughs> Yes, you, you would be able to, it's just the the, the 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 door and the lock have been broken like as if Jimmy had opened by a crowbar and, and splintered open. So you just had to find something to sort of jury rig and hold it. Hey, Wentworth. What? Could you, what? I, I'm, could you do me a favor? 
perhaps what do you, what do you need uh, I want you to help me find something to bar this door so nothing else gets in it, does the door swing in or out it swings out which would be more difficult what well, it swings out all right I'll look I'll look I'll look I want to be around none of y'alls anyway and, and if everybody walking. okay everybody besides Wentworth could you all meet me in the hall um hold on I've pulled Sister my tea Sister meeting hmm? Caroline yes I'm very concerned you are my detestable sister but you are still my sister <laughs> and indeed I really think that uh perhaps we should get out of here <laughs> I don't, you know, fuck all these people. Family first, right? Oh. Well, yes. How do you know that if we leave this place, that whatever this deadly light is, that we just saw eviscerate a man from the inside out, won't come chasing after us? I remind you, we came here on foot. But of course, if you have a plan, I'm in. Oh, okay. Well, the plan is, all I'm saying is family first, yeah? Mm-hmm. Family first. All right. Pinkies. Yeah, Pinky. <laughs> yes, Pinkies. Yes, yes, yes. Perhaps we should look uh, around for any more exits or right. whatever it is you need to find. Or perhaps he has information on relatives, yes. nephews, yes, yes. brothers. I, I, I will definitely do some uh, snooping while this is happening. I think that's a back door right next to us, right? Yeah, I want to split up and maybe see if there's a basement here. Is is this a back door that I'm seeing here? Uh, there's a back door that no goes back out into the porch. Yeah, she's okay, going okay. there, I believe. You yes, know, there we go. just to be, just, you know, just in case we need it. But yeah, I'm glad we covered that. <clears throat> now. And while you're looking out that window, you actually see a flash of light again outside that way. Oh, no. <laughs> Not that way. Oh. Out here. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll step back out into the hallway. <laughs> what were you saying, Bernard? Yes. Meeting. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Look. It's obvious things are very, going very wrong here. Everyone here is dead. And there's definitely um, something outside. Whatever it was, my hypothesis at the moment is whatever it was that is doing this to these people came out of that urn you took. Whatever it was, was sealed inside of there and is now out. I don't know what it's doing or how it's doing it, but that's my working hypothesis. You see, so. I'm a chemist, and this seems more the realm of physics, trapping light and such. This seems more the realm of You're trying of to put light to back in a box. I'll, I'll take Sorry? out the box and sort of open and close it like a mouth towards Bernard. Look, you... It's uh, not it's going to work. Oh. It makes me nauseous? No, I just been on. Great. Yeah, no, you're good. <laughs> you're good. Uh, Can you please? Uh, getting, please, getting, please. Getting. Can I just smack it out of our Stop it! <gasps> the the, no, wait, wait, that might be valuable. Ground, honestly. Oh. We're in some serious shit here, okay? What is wrong Murder? with the both of you? Well, are you, are oh, you okay? pardon me. If we mock the lack of decorum you've brought. I, I'm fine, Lloyd. Thank you for checking. Bernard, <laughs> I know you've got a stick up your ass, but what is it? What, what, what do you suggest that we do? There are these lights bursting out of people. Would, do, 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 Which neither of you seem at all this? worried about, and you're more willing to just make jokes with a, with a box. I, I am worried, but I don't know what to do. I would rather, you know, find what? a way out. What would you rather do? Find exits, find modes of transportation, find a right. way, if you know about lights and boxes, put it back in the box. Right. Well, Catherine seems to be voting for run, and Bernard seems to be voting for trap the supernatural no, being not even back in, in the box. slightest Everyone i'm just else? trying to work out what's happening here so that we can form an accurate plan as to what to do and how to get out of here without exploding when were the well bodies? i wasn't in the room where you saw the bodies because i don't wish to see the bodies but what came out of this box do we suppose that thing outside i don't this light know for sure 
because your system moved the evidence, but I will go and investigate how I can without all of the evidence. And I just turn and walk into the other room. A lot of aunt would one not appreciate. Hmm. Box. I just took one box. Nothing. One else. box that was the cause of all this. And I just storm into the room. Well, if he was in some field of science, perhaps I'll be of use. And I want to look around in that room as well. Uh, when mm. were? Mm. What are you up to? When Bernard comes into the comes into the sitting rooms, Amari sat up there. I'm gonna try to read the journal with a whiskey. Mm-hmm. And as I see him, I say, uh question and i just toss him my belt and i'm like why not just attach this to the doorknob put the other end on something heavy it'll hold the door short i mean it's not perfect but i'm not exactly no 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 it's a good it. idea thank you uh, i you appreciate go. that and i just continue any like, chance to remove his belt reading this journal don't worry i won't remove it around you love quite honestly you remove the inclination for me to do so when i think of you i think maybe my end's not too good for me you know maybe it's good enough yeah, Lloyd. Get back. You would have me. You would. Lloyd. The majority, the majority of the journal has been left blank except for the innermost pages, which uh, Wentworth, he can find. I'm going to show this to everybody. We're going to do a bit of a... Oh, hey. Oh. oh. Nice. Read along. Here we go. Uh, so we'll start with um, Wentworth, if you want to read that page aloud for the whole class. Oh, yay. If you would like, you do. feel free to the do it useful. in your regular voice. If the Wentworth Cockney is not going to translate, <laughs> the useful, if unorthodox, <laughs> resident of the casket, our sin eater, is as far as I can ascertain, no creature currently known to science. Where it came from and when, I do not know, nor do my predecessor from whom I inherited it, though it is undoubtedly many centuries old, if not more. Its uses have been many over the years, although it has predominantly been employed to rid certain <laughs> local, socially conscious families of unwanted op- offspring. What the hell? I pour another <laughs> snifter. What the hell is happening around here? What the e- what the hell? Uh, <laughs> be they the result wow. of centuries of in inbre- uh, inbreeding, <laughs> the <laughs> unfortunate accidents. Or other unwholesome activity. Oh, I know me an unwholesome activity or two. The legality of the creature's use is debatable. I don't know if that's so debatable, mate. Pretty sure that shit is mighty illegal. Its efficacy is not even in such cases where death by other means proved intractable. My conscience in this matter and that of those who came before me is clear. For many of the children would never have survived regardless, given their deformities or other less obvious abnormalities. I think you missed two. Well, mostly one. The other one's not so bad. As for the rest, the Lord does not suffer such blasphemies to live. Well, it wasn't one for church myself, and I snapped the journal shut. Oh, there was more. There's more? There's more. Uh (laughs) Few pages in. Unless uh, unless we would like to- No, I I keep going. No, I would keep going. You want to keep reading? Yeah. Can we see this one? Yeah. I'll do it in my normal voice yes. though because I don't okay. want to take yeah. up too much time. <laughs> As in all things, safety first. Should the sin eater escape its confines, and the only way to recall it is to provide it with a suitably prepared patient, such that it becomes satiated and lethargic and willingly returns to its coffer. Inscribe the spiral mark in blood, preferably the patient's, but not essential on the patient's forehead. The patient does not need to be a child, but it must be human and naturally alive at the point of contact. Experiments with animals and corpses carried out by my antecedents were apparently most unsatisfactory. If the patient is conscious, then they will need to be suitably restrained. Once all preparations are complete, perform the recitation as phonetically transcribed below and permit the sin eater to perform its duties, after which it will return to its casket. Once it's within, close the lid and seal it immediately with a liberal application of the aromatic wax ointment. I start rubbing the tiger bomb off my elbows. (laughs) Oh, shit, mate. Oh. Oh, shit, we are right fucked. Oh, my lord. Wait, what? What are you going on about? I ignore her and go seek out Burnham by the door. <laughs> uh, We're all in the same room now. We yeah, joined you I'm, in the study. Oh, I'm with the, Lloyd. Another, right? In that case, I, I just look away from you and look at Bernard. Wentworth, Talks it seems important. If you're ignoring me this much. Bennett, 
I don't know what now, you I jumped to try and get it in to miss. <laughs> in the heebie-jeebies. And I've known to dabble a bit myself. You reading this? Yeah. yeah. We can read, like, this is some, it's some sin eater. It's just got to keep yeah. thinking people. I don't know about you, Bernard. I ain't lived the most unsinful life. It's definitely coming for me next. I can just feel <laughs> it after that bloke popped. I can see it in its eyes. It wants me, Bernard. You got to help me out here. I'm yeah, 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 the yeah. most okay. simple of this lot. I've I've fornicated, I've drank, I've cheated a couple of times, if I gotta be honest, Bernard. I'm not feeling too great about this. And look, look you you seem like the sinful sort too. That auntie and your unsavory activities with her, you're not safe, mate. Neither of us are safe. Yeah. Look, I um Okay. We have a plan. There's a way to fix this. We can stop this. We've got to sacrifice somebody, mate. What? A sacrifice? Just hold on. Wait, what's that? Work it out. No, Lloyd. no, 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 no. We'll cut straws. Lloyd. Neil Young Lloyd. can take the short one. The professor volunteers. What? Lloyd. Yes. You're, you seem a bit stronger than I yeah. am. Would you mind dragging a heavy piece of furniture next to the front door and tying it to the front door with this belt? Mm, that's pretty smart. All right. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> What about this uh, sofa in here next to the uh, the body? Is yes, that's fine. Yeah, is yeah, as long as it's something you can move. I um. Okay. Lord, did you just say you want to sacrifice me? No, no, I meant the no. I was talking about someone else. No. I'm Lord, gonna go grab the. How dare you? I will remember what? this. I didn't say that. You you just heard the wind moving through the door, right? Yeah. Okay, sister. I'm gonna go take the urn that I slapped out of the hand and pick it up and move back into the study where the corpses are. And can I move the can I move the sofa? Is there something that I can do? <clears throat> yes, you can. You can be able to move the move the sofa in there. Yeah. It's only, oh, retrieve ooh, the ointment. Mm-hmm. Wait, is there still more? Still scraping it off my elbows. What What else did you see in that journal of yours? Look. Um, my hypothesis was within the ballpark. There was something referred to in this journal as a sin eater. Seems to be whatever that light is, is the sin eater. It was trapped in that jar. They let it out and it's been doing what it is designed or born to do, which is to kill people who have sinned, I'm guessing. Well, now, what oh, sin? those poor well, babies didn't six. do nothing, Bernard. Those babies didn't do nothing. Well. It's, is I think I don't think it discriminates, but pot it's may, very, you're I probably right. Like maybe it does. Actually, we're all sinners, every single one of us. Um, Ooh, speak for yourself. So, it's killing. Yeah. Anyone who gets its hands on, I don't know how or how it gets inside, but it is. And uh, the only way to get it back in here is to have it eat someone, or destroy someone, or kill someone, and then when it's lethargic. Convince it back into the box. And then um, steal it. A moment. Convince Perhaps it. Perhaps we could provide it a sacrifice. Um, no thank you, because I think I know who most of you would vote for. Uh, or uh, we provide it a trap. How would you propose going about trapping it? Well, bait is the best way to trap a wild beast, be it made of matter or or non-matter. Okay, so what's your plan? Mm. Well, how do you hurt a ball of light? Let's start with that. I don't know. Yes. May I try the light switch? Have we tried? Do we know if the lights are on in this house? Power is off in the house. Hmm. Click, click. Hmm. Perhaps we find the source of the power, and perhaps power can combat Power. If you would like oh, to look for that. Make Lloyd stronger. I don't trust her. There's something off with that one. Am I still paranoid, by the way? A little bit. Thank you. Oh, oh, think about it, Bernard. It, it, like, how could a professor not know that? You put light on light, you get sprite here, right? Everybody knows that. I don't think this is any. Light. This isn't a normal light, though, you know? So, yeah. this, I don't believe this. Work. It, I, I'm, I'm guessing that it's not a light, it's uh, the way our eyes perceive it is light. 
it is not private light. investigator. This is some kind of I don't know fortune telling so, seance host and man. This is all. So it needs to be lethargic in order for us to put it back in this box. It needs a suitably prepared patient to be exact to attract it, and then once it has fed, it can then be put in back in the box. We could lower our voices for a moment. If there's one person that perhaps would want to be put out of their misery, oh it's the young woman who has no grandfather. It's completely alone in you, this world. Look, you understand. I understand. Go on, take go first. No, do you know Spanish? She said, I haven't sinned. These mean types, these bullying types, always goes like it. I, I've heard. Cindy loves them, thinks they're delicious. Look, the types of girls that were mean you, in high school. Look, look if you do not sin, mm, empty your pockets. She, she like, can't. Like, we're like, all she guilty can't here. Can't. Like cherry cobbler. Suddenly, the reception room is flooded with a bright white oh, light no. from the window outside. The light gets brighter and brighter as whatever it is outside is approaching closer and closer. And then uh, a sharp thunder and sheet of lightning goes outside and the the light I'm gonna try and knock out vanishes. can I knock out uh I'm gonna try and knock out Wentworth <laughs> just knock knock oh. Wentworth out do it yeah because I do know it. my sister's stronger than me honestly it was gonna be Caroline but <laughs> uh you have a look so in your how, how would you like to um, Knock could I, window. uh, uh, I would, if we're standing there all like, oh god, the light, you know, is there something heavy that I could just grab and then whack? Can you have the box? The box? Is the box nearby? Did you No, I, I picked it up. I, I have it after I slapped it out of her hands. Okay, uh, well, yeah. there's the open, there's the fireplace, so there's a, fire, there's a poker. Ooh. Yeah, I'm trying to, just to knock out, uh, uh I'll just. I mean, I would do it. Yeah. Okay. Before before you try, uh, I'm in a very heightened state. One could say wildly paranoid. Wouldn't I see this deceitful bitch coming from like a mile away? Uh, you will. will I'll get you to make she's a roll not, to see if she's you notice so it. She's so flashy. Yes. I was going to make sure that Catherine uh, knows what she's going to do, and then we'll roll to see if Wentworth can All notice right. it happening. Oh, okay. Yeah. What, what am I rolling? So what are you, are you using the poker or just your fist or book? There's a lamp um, on the table. Maybe, uh, uh, whatever's heaviest nearby. If there's a, um, mm, if there's like a c candlestick or something like that nearby, yeah. you know, like. It'll, yeah, you can, you can do that from on top of the, the fireplace. You candelabra, those, rather. And go to <laughs> swing it and smack at the back of Wentworth's head. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, Wentworth. <laughs> yes. This. I'm just going to ask you to make. Uh, let me see. I love you, Jasmine. I don't love you. No. All right. <laughs> Bitches ain't shit, man. I've been saying it forever. <laughs> I'll say it during Women's Month. Oh my mm. God. <laughs> mm. Chase a bag, never chase a check. You know. I'll let you choose whether you know, either listen or spot hidden. Um, Catherine, you are just going to be rolling your, uh, brawl. It's the same for me for both, honestly. I'll do, I'll do listen. That roll listen to see if you can... <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, and, uh, yes, so... Hearing, hearing Catherine <laughs> clambering for the candlestick. Uh, you turn just in time to see her you know, flail wildly and nearly strike you. Almost, I'm going to stumble uh, backwards and grab the shotgun by the stiff on the ground and be like, I will fucking end you! <laughs> I will fucking end you! Put that goddamn shit down right now! Catherine, yes, are you practicing oh. dance moves? She's so clumsy. Catherine? Fine. Um, <clears throat> Just checking you had your wits about like you've been acting be to the light. You've been acting really oddly Wentworth. I just wanted to see that you were all here Oh, yeah, I've been acting oddly. Lisa's the one fucking 
psychopath making tea while people are exploding outside trying to swing candlesticks at people. Well, Talking I'm about sorry. Eating that poor girl in the room who just lost her grandfather to a light. The two are you. Cindy, I'm you with the candlestick. the candlestick. These two, I think Satan what? birthed them himself. What are you talking about? We're, we're, we're not in this, okay? We didn't tell her to do that. No, I'm, I'm not going to get the tiny shovel from the You're fireplace. Good my, You're good in my book. These two, not so And I walk back and I start shoveling whatever sand that was back into the urn. I'm not, I'm just completely ignoring yeah. what's I'm happening in the Bernard room. I'm Bernard too. Bernard and Lloyd are like, like, I'm like not pointing that, but the other two I'm like, Shifting the shotgun so, between them. Yes, uh, Bernard, you, you get most of that white substance back into the uh, the oblong box. And I put it down somewhere on a table or something, mm -hmm. just somewhere centralized. I go, that stays there. All right. Um, and I start. I just start going through the journal again while they're arguing. Mm -hmm. Winter, gun down, gun down, yeah. gun down. Yeah. Even if you wanted to feed me to the thing, it doesn't like dead things, so don't shoot oh, me I wasn't early if you're going to sacrifice anybody me. to the thing. I wasn't trying to be fed, feed anybody to the thing. You're the one that wants to feed that poor girl. Okay, I'm trying to trap it to keep everyone safe. It's in the, the expense of one, one. Put, put the shotgun down. Are you listening to this one? Are you listening to this witch? Bernard? Yes. Uh, you find that other page that I think I've shared with you. Can you see that on roll 20? 1C? I believe that's the case, yes. Yeah, I'm reading it like right now. Read that and just let me know if Bernard is reading this in his head or out aloud. He's reading it in his head right now. Okay, that's good to know. All right. Do you want me to still read it out loud so everybody hears it? Yes, please. If that's okay. Nice. So uh, there's a symbol on it, uh, a circle with a with a with a diamond shape inside, and it says "Iya Iya Hai Makesh Ini Amani Sak Misif," and it has more phrase uh looks like occult phrases and then it says i was taught the sin eater can be summoned and directed to seek out a person at some distance if the correct phys physiology is that what that's the phraseology. phraseology uh is used this being subtly different to the procedure previously noted requiring modification to the symbol pattern and the phrasing i detail this below but won't <laughs> oh shit nice Mm, a room becomes flooded once torn. again with light. Lloyd. Yes. Um, we're missing the bottom of a page in this journal, which might help us. Shit. Um, uh, and I'm gonna like search the room for it, uh, and also kind of like peek out in the hallway for any sort of thing that might have fallen out. Mm-hmm. The 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 yes the the reception room is flooding again with white light. We should the um, outside, and it gets brighter and brighter. Leave this room. Suddenly, the the glass uh, begins to shiver as these like tendril-like portions of white light pierce through the glass and begin run. to crawl into the home. I I run. I listen oh. to him. Yeah, yep. I'm gonna run. Yeah, running backwards. Yes. I want to look and find how to turn the power on in this house. Uh, there is the, the only thing you notice when you're walking around was the doorway to the basement. I believe that's the only room no one's gone into. I'm going to dive into that basement. Mm-hmm. Um, this is where the professor is running. Uh, everyone else is leaving. Leaving the room, I assume, and I'm waiting for everybody to leave before I leave. Does anyone have a, pen a pencil? Sorry. <laughs> Oh, I do. I, I've got a pencil and a fountain pen. You... Uh, as I leave, I grab the urn with the stuff in it. I don't and... have a gun, though, yeah. but I can yeah. give you my pen. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'll, I'll follow my sister, I suppose. I yeah. shut the door. So, so we're not doing that in there. Uh... Wentworth, where did you find this journal? Found it in the study. In the study, okay. And I walk into the study. Mm -hmm. Into the study in the bureau. Uh, I'm gonna follow him. Catherine opening fun. the door to the cellar. Uh, you just notice nothing, nothing much down there apart from dust, cobwebs, some packing crates, and uh, a domestic uh, electrical generator system. Oh yes, this will oh, just do. That. <laughs> Catherine, if you wouldn't mind assisting me, let's get this back online. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Can I that will, that will require a, the uh, ins and out of this. Sorry. Oh, I want to investigate the ins and outs of uh, what I know about it. If anything, any knowledge of chemistry would aid me in this. Uh, what are you trying to do just to get it back up and running? 
or if you can do something interesting. Yeah, just uh, assessing the overall uh, how this thing works uh, and where the power button is. Yeah, uh, you should be able to do that and either make a chemistry or an electrical repair roll. Go chemistry. Yeah, that, that applies. Succeeded. Uh, you should be able to repair it. There's some minor tweaks that need to be made to get the power back running in the home. Do I know um, what those are? Yes. Bernard, you're in the study? With... Study. Looking for the piece Boy. of the journal we're missing. Could you both make a That's... hidden roll, please? I'll, I'll lead him to the to the wardrobe. Or the way Ooh, the ba hard success. Oh, oh nice. Okay, let me do that. But hidden. Failure. Um, but I just have to say uh, the the pencil that I got from uh, from Wentworth. Um, I'm using that on the the next page over to see if I can oh, see good, the outline good, of what good. was written. Good. So you find this. You find two more pages. This one here. Hmm. Boy, I'm like leaning over his shoulder. Mm -hmm. Looks like this this fellow is a hit man. Also, Bernard. You're very attractive when you're thinking very odd. I just wanted you to know that. That little furrow in your brow. Thank you. But looks like he was taking money to off people with his little light, mayhaps. That isn't without, within, it's not with, uh, <laughs> sorry. You may be correct. Oh, that's mm. great. The only other thing you find, it seems that whatever remained of the uh, the instructions or spell to sick the sick the sin eater on a particular person has been lost. Hmm. Well, at least we know how to get rid of it. So it seems possible possible that the doctor here was a pseudo hitman hmm. with this creature. That's disconcerting Fair. um any luck lloyd um well uh, and i is this what i gotten from this this other handout here yeah the uh, or the, the 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 inscription the handwritten inscription yes is it, uh, when he's yeah so I, so I turn that around and uh what I see is, I guess, dead two. Is that correct? Uh, dead once. Oh, did I give you dead two? Yeah, we got dead, dead, dead two. two. It's dead up. Two. So wait, he was he was using the side of the pencil to kind of try and decipher oh, what was at the bottom. Of on that, right? Uh, who, no, there's no success for that. Sorry, I thought you were. Oh, okay. No, no, no worries. Yeah. Um. So. No, no success. Right. Unfortunately. No, thank you. That's you had a good idea. Um, okay, so how do we trick this thing into getting in the box without sacrificing anyone? Oh, sin eater. We uh, uh, the professor had a good idea using someone as bait. My only issue is that from bait to box, I don't know what steps to take. It's true. Right. You gotta like cork it into the box. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, what I just had a thought. Mm. What's that? Well, um, we have to draw the symbol on yes. someone in blood, preferably their own blood. Not necessarily, but preferably. If we were to say. I oh, get what you're getting at. All of us put the symbol yeah. on our own heads. Bitch is confused. Snap. Put the, you know, just put it right on him. He doesn't know who to go for first. I mean, that right? wasn't my idea, but that's not the like, worst idea I've ever heard. In like a pentagram. Huh. It doesn't know what to do. It's confused. And huh. then we just put it in the box while it's like, oh, all the, the all these sinners look so delicious. Ooh, especially that Bernard with that wet shirt. And then we just close the box on it. It could work. That's, it could work. It could. I don't know. You you might be right. I have no idea. Um, the, the my is onto something. Was that we put 
something like a piece of maybe one of the people who've died already in the box and draw the symbol on it so that the sin eater goes there and then we can just shut the trap like a rat like a, a rabbit trap uh, that might work too i guess probably less risky <laughs> Right, uh, probably, but again, I don't know. And I'm not about to sacrifice this poor girl who's had the worst night of her life. I agree. What a White wicked idea. to peel out from under the door to the reception room, sneaking oh. slowly yeah, to Vanna, the we gotta move fast. We don't, we don't have much more time. Yeah. No, we don't. Um, I think it needed to be alive. Speaking of which, Catherine and Caroline, the... Uh, <laughs> How the fuck basketball. did you hear us? <laughs> You've been able to repair the generator. The generator is conking along. The lights come back on in yes. the home. All right, all right. Now, uh, is there any way we can sort of, I don't know, like take a wire leading from the generator and pull it up the stairs with us to yeah, shock there's, something? There's plenty of extension cables down there as well, yeah. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, stop feeding this up oh, the stairs, well, Catherine. All right. yes. what, what's the plan here? I don't know, but we need power and lots of it. If we see the thing, let's try and shock it. Oh, the the lights are back on? In the lights are back on, yeah, the generator's back on now. So oh, okay. Take your strength time repairing it, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, all right, just go up the stairs with this wire. Mm -hmm. The Despite the lights being back on in the hallway, the tendrils of the dead light are still sneaking out from under the door Ooh. from the reception room into the hall. I'm uh, gonna back out, Lord back, back down. Earth. Oh yes, we're like two uh, old-fashioned fire women with this cable <laughs> over our shoulders. Is she still in her bedroom? Uh, yeah, last time I checked, she was there. I'm gonna run out and uh, try and grab her from her room because that's the first room that light will get to. <laughs> yes, she's in there. She's not sleeping. She's awake, wide-eyed, staring at the ceiling. Um, uh, well, could you please come with me quickly? Anyone else have what? a plan? Oh, Bernard. Could you please come with me quickly? Oh, all right, I can come with you. I don't mind. What, what's going on? Did you call anybody yet? I just noticed the lights came back on. Is the power? Yes, we. Ha I haven't called anyone yet. We. They just came back on. But we'd be happy to call someone from the study if you would just come with me for a moment into the study. That would okay. be great. You know, with everybody. Okay. So she walks with you into the hallway where I believe the professor is standing. Oh, hello. <laughs> We're kind of, um, the hallway, the basement stairs lead there. Uh, Bernard, Bernard, uh, Plan, how do we electrocute the electrocution, if you know what I mean? I have no idea. I don't even think that, I don't know if that'll work at all. Great. Oh, and Amelia, glad you're here. Quick question. Yeah. Would you want to be sacrificed to the light thing to save What is wrong with you? <laughs> she begins to scream answer. because the tendrils of the dead light are now almost firmly inside the hallway. It is almost fully formed, this big mass of misty white. If you want to electrocute it, there it is. Closer and, I... and closer to all of you, Can lumbering lethargically tip? down the hallway. You just see Wentworth with the with the ointment, just like creating runes on his on his yeah. forearms and on his face and on his yeah. forehead. We, we we need that to Stop. seal the box. Bibli Stop that. There's enough there for tons of sealing. This okay. is some straight biblical shit. Can I just see what it does to a tendril if I um, tip the open wire onto yep. it. Yes, you want to throw it at it. it I'm like it was uh, lightning. Yes. Yeah, maybe we found some gloves down there so we can <laughs> hold this cable without it. <laughs> Unless you're kidding uh, us as yeah, well. Yeah, no, you easily there'd be rubber gloves down there. So you were repairing a mechanical thing. So yes, you you had that for sure. Yeah. Um, okay, so I wanted to in the, in um, the poke study. it. I have one. Can I don't I have, have it, a please? gun, but I have a fountain pen. <laughs> <laughs> Take the fountain pen. All the writing supplies. <laughs> I, I'd like it back. My my yeah, late wife. Fine. And I me. stick it in my arm. Oh. oh no. And I quickly paint the symbol on the back of the professor's dress as she's going to electrocute the thing. <laughs> yes. Uh, the professor is holding out the the electrical thing. The deadline is coming closer and closer. Is there anything else you wanted to do or say, Bernard? I wanted to say the words on the page. Well, you better say them. This is called Cthulhu, so. Ia, Ia, Hai Makesh Mani, Sak Minef, Kia, uh, Si, Wizen, Nakan, Wiji, Ni Si, Nayama. Is that poetry, uh, Bernard? This <laughs> loud howling noise as the professor is holding out the wire toward the, uh, toward the creature. Um, science. Just, <laughs> what, 
Uh, where's my dodge? I want to lasso it, basically. Just get momentum. Uh, the dice roller working? Anything else? Oh, I lost this. I th oh. It was like kind of lagging for me for a bit, but. Oh, it's just opened separately for me. That makes sense. All right. So, uh, not gonna. Well, well, let's just let's just see what happens here. Uh oh. I just pressed my power just as a test. Just as a test. Just want you to know I got an extreme success. Well, that's very good. <laughs> not at all disturbed by what is by what is happening here. Um, all right. I'm just going to roll this. How do we go? 37 of 60. Uh, so that's the success. So it's trying to consume you. And um, Professor, you're trying to hit it with the with the wire. So we'll yeah. just call that a dexterity roll, unless I, I, I'm willing to be convinced if there's a different skill you think you want to call use. it a power roll? <laughs> Not your power roll. <laughs> I think <laughs> I was going for my power roll. Yeah. Oh, you actually were. Oh, sorry. I thought you were just trying to test the other thing. You're, you're yeah, yeah. Power. So you did get an extreme success. So you do manage to, you don't hit it with this, but you do manage to fan it off with your sheer force of will, but it is still coming for you. It hasn't got you just yet. That's now we're going to go to dexterity order for everybody well, else. Um, what's everyone's dexterity? I'd like to run away. Yeah. Mm, I'm 30. Three. Oh, do we roll it? Oh no, just tell me what your dexterity is. Probably. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, 50. 40. So, uh, Catherine? I'm I have 30. 50 as well. Oh, oh. I have 50 as I forgot well. who I was. 50. Uh, Caroline has 30. Uh, Bernard has... 50. 50. Uh, Wentworth has... 40. 40. 40. And Lloyd? 50. 50. All right. A lot of people in the middle of the road. Um, <laughs> this thing has 80. So it's going to oh, go. Oh, God. Now... Uh, so it's going to attempt to consume you, uh, Professor, <laughs> Catherine. Um, are you dodging, running, attacking back? Uh, so we're in the hallway. Let me just look real quick. It came in through this... Oh, yep, there it is, a ball of orb. And Amelia, she was with Bernard, right? Uh, uh yeah, yes. you're... Yeah. Let me grab Amelia and toss her in front of me. I mean, she's kind of in the other room there. Unless she's out in the hallway with us and we just haven't moved her. Oh, I believe she came out to the hallway. Okay, great. Then, yeah, she's there. Yeah, she's there. Uh, so that's going to be... Ooh, we'll call that uh, probably a dexterity roll. If you want to grab her and sort of throw her, unless you'd like prefer it to be strength. Oh, strength, please. <laughs> strength? <laughs> oh! Extreme success. Another extreme success. And the thing <laughs> failed... It's the dice. maneuver. Uh, that was its failed maneuver to consume uh, the professor, at least. But it lashes its tendrils onto the wailing Amelia, the ghost-like pale girl, who has had a, for want of a better term, rough trot in life, especially over the last 12 hours or so. And the thing clams onto it. It wraps its fiery light tendrils around her, which begin to sear her flesh. And the room is like filled with a smell of her burning flesh as the the more and more Get the shot out wrap around it and pull her closer to the deadlight as it almost takes on the, the the guise of a huge skull its mouth agape with these white light tendrils pulling her into its gaping mouth uh i believe it's going to be wentworth who is next at 50. Uh, ooh. wentworth had 40. Oh, yeah, I have oh, pardon me. Uh, Bernard, Bernard and, good. and Lloyd. I don't know what's Lloyd. Lloyd. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think Lloyd, you can go ahead because all three of us had 50. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. uh, I'm, 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 Lloyd's freaking out right now. Um, <laughs> Lloyd's still with this, with this, <laughs> um, with this shotgun. Um, it's just going to try to fire at this thing wildly as it sees it, you know, sort of engulf um, our friend here. Uh, so you'd like to fire the shotgun at it while it's engulfing Amelia? Yes. Yes? Make your roll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, failure! You fa no. Your shot goes wide and spatters the inside of the oh. hallway wall with 
Uh, no, not Amelia. No, I'm not quite that nasty. <laughs> the, the inside of the hallway wall with uh, with shrap uh, with uh, with shots you know, sputtered into the wall. Um, Catherine. Yes, I suppose I'll try to shoot. Well, I, can I speak during my turn? What's you can you can speak during your turn. You probably can't read um, that on page of a journal, but uh, you can say a few words. Uh, Bernard, where where's the where's the coffer? I, I mean, I'm holding it under my arm right now. Oh, okay, he has. Okay, if I see that it's okay, in yeah. this area, I'm not gonna. Okay, I'll just pull out my gun and shoot. Okay, make your roll at the light. At the light. Uh, the firearms roll. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, where? Unless you have a handgun. Uh, yes. Yes. The handgun roll. Yeah. Okay. Yes. The derringer. Oh. <laughs> oh, your shot nope. is going to go wide. Boo. What do we do next? What do we do? What did the journal say? So it's it's consuming her, correct? Uh, it's in the process of consuming Amelia, yes. Okay, uh, Bernard's going to go and set the jar down about, he's going to run about to here, set the jar down in front of him on the ground and continue to read the words. Mm -hmm. Which he does. Recite the, reciting them over and over again. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. also, in between stanzas, mm -hmm. he goes, Wentworth, prepare the seal. Yeah. Wentworth, you're covered in wax. <laughs> There's still some ointment in there, though. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and uh, post up wart next to Bernard. I don't look crazy at all. And uh, ready my action. And also, be like, your pronunciation's a bit off there, mate. That actually is an Arabic root word, and so it's not <laughs> E-yah, it's a ya, a ya. But you're, you're close, you're getting close. Bernard, do you take that advice on board? I, I look, by oh. the way, just for y'all's players, Wentworth looks like he's cracked. <laughs> 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 I get compartmentalized, going back to what he knows. Yeah. Your, your pronunciation's a bit off there. Um, that's... Can I make a quick occult roll to see if I believe her or not? Yes. Do I believe her or not? I got a hard success. You, you, you do believe him. Went with his All right, I, I change what I'm doing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, so at this point, so then uh, I believe, um, uh, Professor, you're last, last in line. Dexterity order. It's, uh, it is I. Yes. Um, I... Uh, I want to roll psychology in Bernard and see what he's trying to do. Yeah. You can if you would like. Yeah, like well, maybe not in the moment. Maybe I'm just trying to save save my arse. I think uh, I, I threw Amelia in there. I don't know anything else. My electrocution didn't work, so I'm just going to run back down towards... <laughs> um, uh, I want to run towards the... Uh, furthest point that's not trapping myself in the basement. So I'm going to run towards that room behind Lloyd uh, and mm -hmm. sort of cower behind Lloyd. Yep, so you move along there, hiding behind Lloyd, the shotgun-toting uh, bootlegger. And it's at this point where Amelia's screams uh, become pretty full-on. The dead, dead light almost vanishes completely, moving into her body, her eyes and mouth. The fingertips begin to glow with light, just as you watch with the man at the front. And you once again witness as she burns from the inside out, being entirely consumed. Bernard, I assume you are still chanting and making these chants. And as you do, once, as almost in time with her body or her skeleton, what is left of it, this charred, charred, ashy remains, falls to the ground. The deadlight, rather than being this long tendril-like mist, contains itself into a tight ball and moves into the oblong box and sits on top of the white pad that you've got in there. What would you like to do? I shut the box mm -hmm. and I take this the the wax and I slam it on the front and it's not melt. It's not. It's I have to melt it, don't I? Or is it like malleable? It's just like a, an ointment. Sorry. Okay, so uh, I just, I just did. big take a huge clump of it and slap it on the slap it on front the side, of the. Yeah, just screw it on there. Yeah. And it would appear as though the dead light has been trapped, though at what cost is unclear. 
So we might just quickly have a brief epilogue here and each of you can go through and tell us what you get up to in the next uh, 24 to 36 hours. Starting okay. perhaps with uh, Lloyd, who's got to drive home at some point. Lloyd honestly doesn't know if he's driving home tonight because the first thing that he does, walks back to the car that's parked, pops that trunk, calls over old Wentworth and has a whole bottle of the homemade whiskey. Now he was haunted by the things that he saw tonight and um, he couldn't have got through without his compatriots. <laughs> Wentworth, how do you spend your next couple of days? How are you rattled? First off, uh, go over to Bernard. Before I go get a drink with all Lloyd, me and him go way back. I take out 400 from my pocket, all secret-like. I hand it to him, and I say, uh, no questions asked. Just make sure Caroline doesn't make it home to a fancy manner, eh? <laughs> that was some fucked up shit. I want that shit on my conscious. I want this shit on my conscious. Bernard, what do you do with the next few days? Or immediate? <laughs> Bernard, after sealing the box, immediately walks over to the professor and pulls his gun and shoots her. But <laughs> no one saw that coming. Not even the professor. Did like a lethal shot or oh, gun shot and die slow well situation? Done with the box. I mean, he he's gonna just shoot oh. for the head. Yes. You were heroic. You really saved the day there. No one could have. I failed completely and miss. <laughs> and I just and I just oh, and I just sit on the ground after that. Yeah. Your gun's gone off. I'll take it from you so you don't hurt <laughs> anyone by accident, clearly. And to to the car, everyone. I'll drive. Bernie doesn't get up. He, um, I, he stays find... sitting on the floor. Okay. Bernie, we'll see you later then. The home is yours. I'm sure no one will bother you. Um, the professor is going to spend the night at the nearest inn where, uh, as she undresses, she finds some unusual insignia on her back end thinks, wow, that, that must have been something she leaned up against while in the house. Then she takes the next few years to write a treatise on how one can harness electricity uh, in unconventional ways. She's published for it and extremely successful. There's an addendum to what I want to do over the <laughs> next couple of days, not after attempting that. After they leave and they head out, Bernard's sitting in the house thinks for a minute and searches the rest of the house for that piece of paper to direct this thing to specific people. Which, of course, he finds. And that's what he does with the rest of his time. Catherine, I thought we were mates. How do you feel about your... Uh, oh, it's not you. <laughs> Two very specific people are the targets. Well... I am um, very, uh, you know, disappointed, perhaps not surprised at how very smart and yes, still so idiotic my sister still seems to be. And um, I think I will forge papers, doctor's papers, and uh, <laughs> enroll my mother, my sister in the sanitarium nearby for as long as i can manage mean? to do so I, I will forge whatever the doctor's sign off needs to be done and and what she has done and and ha the and delusions that she may have suffered and uh try to get her committed there and um try to call up whatever criminal contacts i have to off bernard and then make my way back to merry old London. I was gonna marry oh. Bernard. That's just, that's just ghoulish. Well, I can confirm that I get uh, Lord, Professor... What do you say? We just get married, settle down, not deal with any of this nonsense? I mean, at this point, sure. <laughs> 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 uh, like a player. Professor Caroline does live out her days in the cemetery. I'm under the belief that she is a well-published and well-renowned author. <laughs> You've read my books? No, no, that's a wall. Oh, I'm here. 
Um, and hopefully the use of the dead light um, doesn't go too far astray as it has been loosed from the box to go hunt whatever quarry Bernard sent for it the same day that he is murdered by the hitmen who find an empty box and a pile of instructions. And that was Deadlight from... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you were the worst. Play. Both of you were the worst people. <laughs> <laughs> the worst? I would like to think, with my uh, linguistics abilities, we get Lloyd's bootlegging operation on a more international level. <laughs> yes. Overseas. You can speak like so four languages, right? Bootlegging to places that don't even have prohibition. It'll be great. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. <laughs> Extra <laughs> profit, <laughs> sure. I, don't know. Right. Uh, I, okay, didn't, I did quickly. not suggest using the the Amelia. I did not do that. It's, it's okay. happened to be there. Wow. I didn't know you guys were going to be so angry about being saved. <laughs> 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 See how that evil thing just floated in the box? <laughs> All right, just quickly going around, uh, getting everyone to say who they are, where they can be found, uh, starting with uh, Catherine Kennington, aka oh, Josephine McAdam. Yes. Hi, I'm Josephine McAdam. You can find me at JCVIM everywhere uh, and see me next on see Tuesday me. at twitch.tv slash that bronze girl for Shikar at 6 p.m., our ongoing D&D campaign. Let's so let's uh, handball then to Wentworth, the lovable. Hi, I don't know about love. My character is fucking obnoxious. I'm sorry for all the f bombs, but if you're Australian, I feel like you don't care. No, I don't give a fuck. Hi, hello. I'm Jasmine, that bronze girl. Um, not uh, not from Birmingham. I know my accent was impeccable. <laughs> you so may, really? you may huh? have been. I had no idea. I'm a full-time content creator on Twitch. Uh, like Josephine said, you can catch our D&D show on Tuesday nights at uh, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Rebroadcasts at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on my channel. And yeah, you can follow me on Twitter to see all the wonderful games I play in, like this one. And uh, Lloyd, our, our, our bootlegger. Yes, yes. Could have done literally anything else with this evening. <laughs> <laughs> Could have sat and drank. Yeah. Um, yes, I am London Carlisle. You can catch me at London Carlisle on Twitter, Instagram, um, but also I play Call of Cthulhu a lot of places. Um, Spot Hidden, where I'm the keeper. Um, I'm going to be on season two of Ain't Slayed Nobody, the great uh, sort of down darker trails uh, podcast. Also on the Neptune Society, Stream of Blood. You can catch me there. Um, but yeah, next Tuesday we're doing Spot Hidden again. Um, 5 p.m. Pacific time. If you're looking for some eldritch madness set on a college campus. Oh, that's very cool. Yes. Indeed, indeed. Indeed. Um, how about the the our true villain, uh, Professor <laughs> <laughs> Caroline <laughs> Kennington? Thank you, David. Uh, okay, that meme where it's I'm like Becca. the villain, the actual villain, like that. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Jokes. Hey, I'm Becca Scott. You can find me at the Becca Scott. Also at Good Time Society is uh, my my channel where we make stuff with other people. Where these lovely people come on from time to time, um, and uh, I have a stream tomorrow that hopefully. I don't end up accidentally playing as hated of a character. Uh, <laughs> it's at 2 p.m. Pacific time for Gary Con. We're doing a little like zero session for a new D and D like official D and D uh, D and D <laughs> stream. And um, I said D and D six times. Uh, One more, and it it's makes it real. Dice Society, <laughs> and it's like for real D and D though. Uh, but tomorrow we're doing a stream on the Gary Con twitch channel and that's me thanks good and uh lastly uh, our uh, i want to say our hero but i don't know bernard <laughs> who, had, who had a moral compass at he had it, yeah. Sorry, yeah, the, the, yeah. who had there's your problem yeah um yeah my name is alexander ward i am an actor who specializes in playing monsters and creatures and creepy things like that uh i sometimes stream on twitch and uh i have a channel and um, <laughs> uh, you can also, I also have a movie that came out relatively recently called Sun, S-O-N, it's a horror movie. Uh, check that out. You can find it on IMDb. It might be on Shudder. I don't remember. Um, 
Also, I just, I, I love playing with all these people and this was a lot of fun. Thank you. I really enjoyed myself. Uh, yeah, thank you. Did you enjoy I, your first, uh, like, this was great. Cthulhu experience? I, I loved it. I love this game. I want to play more. I promise we're all friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you yes. never know it, but yeah, it's true. Uh, and I'm, uh, I'm, Brian Holland from, I'm Brian Holland from Chaosium. Uh, please stay tuned to uh, twitch.tv slash Chaosium Inc. We've got all kinds of fun things happening with the stream of Chaos, uh, which happens every week. So please uh, make sure you follow. And if you're so inclined, you can please subscribe. And you can check out all our uh, rebroadcasts and videos on demand on YouTube. So please follow through and follow us there. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out. We we're so glad to see chat so active and really into this. Um, and thank you so much for my wonderful players. I had so much fun running. Yeah, Dead thank Light, you, you can pick up the, the exact scenario and the module, everything you need to run it on Roll20 right now. And it's also obviously available uh, in you know classic sort of tabletop format uh, if you are lucky enough to be somewhere where you have people that you can play with in real life but if not roll 20 is fantastic and i personally love that we got to show off the dynamic lighting when we were exploring the house then i thought that was very cool did everyone like yeah. any thoughts on that i'm not sure if any of you all have used that it before. was the coolest thing ever yeah, i like cool. to this show is really you great. where i want to go yeah. Yeah. yeah i also thank you to our, our td who made everything look so yes fucking cool exactly our, our yeah. producer who is hanging in the background yeah. uh dave and uh jamie who has been moderating the chat the two guys uh definitely in the things wouldn't be looking as pretty and operating as smoothly yeah it looked great these two mm -hmm. guys input so thank you so much and uh without further ado uh please enjoy the rest of your evening or morning wherever you are and hopefully we can all play again sometime so bye everyone thanks everyone thank you brian cheers thank peace you.